Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're playing a game called South of the Circle. It's essentially a story-rich, interactive, narrative-style indie game, and it's actually set in the Cold War era, so very, very unique. I don't think I've actually played a game quite like that before, so I'm very curious to kind of see where everything goes. Now, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you saw a track of mine, I'm talking to people, that is why. Also, thank you to the game devs for gifting me a code to play. I really appreciate it. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs it up if you don't like it. It helps me a lot. Otherwise, let's just go and get started. Antarctica 1964. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good sign. Pull a crash or plane, eh? Yeah, so this is set uh, in the Cold War era. I honestly don't know that much about it, but I know a little bit about the Cold War era. So, welcome to South of the Circle. I'm so excited. This art style looks really good, so. Hey, buddy. Panic, confusion, concern. Oh, okay. Hey. Am I gonna have to remember these? <sighs> hey. Hey, wake up. Should I take notes? <laughs> oh. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Panic, on, panic. Wake up. Uh, wake up. <laughs> Chrissy, wake up. <laughs> Thank God you're all right. Ah. Okay. God, my leg, it's jammed. It's jammed in here. Oh. Caring, honest, open. Oh, okay. Caring, honest, open. I gotta remember. Oh. That's broken. That's broken. Got stuck under the bloody rudder pedal. Uh, caring or panic? Panic. Are you sure? Ah, uh, <laughs> see if there's a first aid kit around, will you? Should be behind uh, the seat. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah. We'll be caring now. <laughs> gotta do a little give and take, you know. Step pilot, stop. <laughs> there we go, first aid kit. All right. <laughs> We're fine. We'll be fine. Panic, caring. Panic, panic, right? panic. Ah, oh, that's better. It's a dire. <laughs> it's not gonna last forever, though. Mm mm. Uh, time to panic we? more. Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. Uh. Beep beep. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anybody Mayday. out there? Mayday. Mayday. This is Alpha Romeo Lima. Uh, crashed south of Deception. Uh, south of the circle. Roughly 82 south, so 90 south. west. <laughs> Come on. Hello, Faraday. Do you read? Faraday. Is that the name of the station? Or a person? Uh, well, there's a blinky red light, so we could try move? to go there. Perhaps. <laughs> These QTEs are easy. <laughs> well, that's Finally. Uh, a game I can't feel QTEs. I'm good for nothing like this. Plane? Weather? Plane? And the plane's in no fit state either. Oh. I yeah. from the worst of it, actually. She's gonna need some help getting her up again. That's great hey, news. Hey, hey, see that up there? Mm -hmm. We were about to fly over one of the British outposts. Deception point, that should be it there. I see. Maybe they've got a doctor. Uh, yeah, I think I can see it. So can All you right. make it? <laughs> no. Make it? Is you it, can't see a damn thing. thing. We I'll die. This tin can and we both freeze to death. Don't worry, we'll cuddle. Keep uh, each other warm. We, we, we can wait. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Your very godmother's not gonna magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Mm. Oh, come on, mate. Nobody Don't knows, really? Get us down in one piece. I thought when Talk you're piloting, you have to, like, report in. Like, tower to tower? I don't know. Fort Wright Strong Assertive. Did he just say time to be a man? How far away do you Good think lord. It is? <laughs> Could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? That's a long way in the snow. We yeah. We really have a choice, do we? Strong and assertive. Good man. And forthright. How will I find my way back? Panic. Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this like qualifies. What? Compass? Yeah. Flares. Flares. Sure. Keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I'll help you get your bearings. All right. Hey, hey, oh. you here? 
What? No. What? What's up? Good morning. I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there. What okay? was he doing? Just straight. Is he having a panic? Maybe. Or did he fall asleep? As soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch out, okay? It's ten below zero. Jesus. Okay, don't worry. Uh, wish me luck. Why are we here? How did we get here? Who are we? Just British luck. What is my name? Let me out. <laughs> sleep, sleep. Immediately fails QTEs. Oh my god. All right. We are right into it, huh? Oh, I can move. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. There we go. I'm an achievement onto the ice. Can I sprint? I can't sprint. It's okay. We'll take a nice leisurely stroll while my eardrums die a little bit. <laughs> the music's uplifting. <laughs> oh, there we are. That wasn't actually that far at all. Five to ten miles. Oh my goodness. I can't see a damn thing. What? Hey! Hello, my lady. Hello, my darling. Where? <laughs> Alright. Hey! Hi! What's up? Can I turn around? Can I look at my my fit? Fit check? Oh my god. We're looking snazzy as hell. Wait, can I miss the train? Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. <laughs> Hello? Oh, here. Let me help. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I can manage. No, honestly, uh, it's fine. <laughs> big and strong. Not as easy yeah. as it looks. Oh dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I love her accent. It's easier with both of us, don't you think? Yeah, sure. What's this? Negative, shy, downcast. Why would I want that? What if I don't? All right. Um, uh -oh. On three. One. Well, two, that was just. <laughs> three. <laughs> I thought it might give me a different dialogue <laughs> option. It's my fault. There's too many books. Oh, Why would I want to be negative <laughs> on my first impression? Well, I guess it could have been uh, shy. There you go. Teamwork. Uh, yeah, yeah, teamwork. No Not a problem. problem at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Right, um... Minnesotan. Oh, I'll maybe. I can't tell. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck She's finding so another free though. carriage. Uh, sure. Uh, Thanks. Alright, thank you. Yeah. That's very sweet. <laughs> Why would you put up uh, something heavy so high and be so scared? Oh, you have it falling down. I'll just be caring. Your work? My students. She's a teacher. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, oh, someone's got to work I can help them with that. <laughs> Probably not the same editing. Sure, let's be a little shy. You're, you're marking all of that. I'm trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Assigns a lot of work, doesn't want to mark at all. Well, yeah, um, makes sense. Feel free to <laughs> complain to me if it helps. <laughs> it might, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cute. Uh, uh, long journey? Let's keep bothering her so she can't yes. get the marking done. All the way from Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh. Uh, let's Where be caring. Headed? Cambridge. And you are too, right. I can see that. Um, he, it's the, yeah, it's, it's my tie, tie right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that. Oh. Well, I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns personally. Who? I beg your pardon. <laughs> your book fell oh. onto the seat. Oh, I see. oh. <laughs> what am I reading? Would you mind if I take a look? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Man, you could have had like a really nice comeback. Formulation Just, of oh. complex cloud patterns. <laughs> G.B. McNeil. Cloud patterns. Cool. I found it rather heavy going myself. <gasps> She's read it too. Enthusiastic, interested, curious. Ooh, okay. You've, you've read it. Mm. I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably I read the bloody voice. thing. The fact that you've got it Hi. on you makes me think you're not a student. You're a lecturer well, too. Am of I right? course. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Likewise. Y yeah, yeah. Uh, let's uh, be enthusiastic. How long have you been here? It'll be my second year. <laughs> second year? Uh, I don't know uh, what these symbols mean. Peter, how do you do? Peter. Laura, how do you do? 
Oh, your uh, bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry. It's just a just a telegram. Oh, your uh, your telegram. It's Sorry. Nothing. Telegram. It's nothing. Oh, time just to panic. Something from my professor. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was Why? I? That's okay. There's literally no way you could have known. It's completely fine, really. Yeah. This is so pleasant. Right. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds sure. just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work. <laughs> like we're still at school. <laughs> Technically, you are at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> I, I get the point, though. <clears throat> Will these old men having a final say over our future? True. Deciding whether our work's good enough? How True. will all rest on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere? I know. I, I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do yeah. it more often. I'm surprised that they don't. Sorry, I don't know where to be for this, so I'm just going to uh, have to move around. You'd be welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it? Sure. There? Uh, so many. Well, let's, let's be modest. Um, three. Three? Specifically oh. three. <laughs> well... I'm sure they're a lucky bunch. Well, it's kind of well, cute. Maybe you'll see for yourself. Yeah. Maybe I will. Come visit. Oh, oh maybe she won't. Oh, there's a red light up ahead. Oh, it's well, okay. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, Dodging the QT button. to the bright lights of Cambridge, <laughs> won't you? Sure, of course I will. No worries. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're back. Keep heading towards that light. Not the bright light, the red one. I feel like this would be so dangerous, actually, if this were in real life. Like, wandering into the distance where you can't see a damn thing in the snow. A lot of barrels? For what purpose? Maybe one of them would be gas. For our, uh, for our plane? And if you already have enough, you could still bring one, maybe light it on fire, a little campfire, you know? No, that's incredibly Hello, dangerous. Don't do here. that. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Hello. Anybody home? There is a car over there. So there should be somebody. Oh, we see. Let's get in there. Hey, let me in. British flag? Hi. Hello? Hello? God, I love the art style. Anybody here? Cool. I see a little light switch. I'm blocking it. I'm blocking it. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we're back in school. So, my do three come students. And see me if you have any questions on the lecture. Who? Cool. One or two would be nice. Mm. I see somebody back there. Hey. You can leave if you, you like. It's over. Milady. Do you have a question? I do, in fact. I love her voice so much. Uh, yes. Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? 100%. Oh. Oh, it's you. Um I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. Visit me anytime. I, I love her so much. I, I don't even know it. her. I didn't think you're too bad. Too bad. Huh. Well, I'm. Um, I'm glad you thought so. I wonder if we're new the to teaching. Don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, mm. they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found yeah. it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. Yeah. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. You are poetic! I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> but in, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um... Just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh... Taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> mm. Yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's What's any consolation. Mean? Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they found my beautiful subject, like you. My beautiful subject is you! It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> oh, yeah, you too. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Oh Hamilton my God. hasn't finished in here yet. There's so many. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Wow! Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. That's great. You'd be welcome mm. to stay if you like. <gasps> stay or leave, we're staying. Oh, we're staying. Uh, well, why, why not? Thank you. 
Oh, you're so shy. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers. Yeah. They're a mess over here. You got one job, man. Keep it tidy. Come on now. Oh, we're back. All right. Where am I? Oh, yeah. We were at the base, I think. Everything is like knocked over. Coffee spilled. I wonder if they got attacked. Oh, cool. Oh, this is so nice. I love the style. Of course, the lady posters. <laughs> I don't remember what I was supposed to be doing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I was trying to get help, right? Dear Annie, it's hard getting word out now. Locked down by the weather, Joan's condition has taken a, f a turn for the worst. The last supply drop didn't bring enough medicine. He's upstairs in the lab now, poor chap. Chap! Still doing his observation work, muttering they're getting closer over and over. It's unsettling to the other men now. We're trapped here and nobody knows what to do. I wasn't really around during the Cold War era, but I know my dad was actually, and we were actually having this conversation the other day just by chance, and he was saying that when he was in school, they would have like genuine fears like that during school, and they'd have um, kind of like how we have earthquake drills, they would have like nuke drills, so where they would have to like climb under the desk and kind of prepare themselves if they were to get nuked and stuff like that, which is really scary. Okay, let me pick this up. Oh, medicine? Uh, Valparate? What is that for? 400 tablets. Oh, for treatment of migraines, epilepsy, bipolar disorder. I see. Okay, okay. Let's walk over here. Is this for me to leave? Oh, I didn't even check upstairs or anything. There were stairs- well, too late now. <laughs> I have no idea if I could actually even go up there or not, to be honest, but I would have liked to check. <laughs> That's alright. I see there's a lot of footprints, so somebody must have been here like somewhat recently because if it's been snowing like this, it would have snowed over it. There's even ones going to the car, which is interesting too, considering the car is still here. Hello? Theater, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England of 37 for 4. Terrible state of affairs. 37 for hey, 4. Mm. Alright. Is my boss? Oh! Oh my gosh, we're back here again. Interesting. Generator? Do I gotta fix it? No, it seems to be on. I don't see anything I can interact with. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll, I'll be going then. <laughs> it's a bit weird this time era. Like, I always think it's interesting when people are like, oh, I wish I would have lived in this time. Because in reality, it, it, it was really not great. The other time era is for many reasons, mostly for people like minorities of any type. Car is locked, okay? Can I just break into it? Or maybe I can find a key. We should find a key first. <laughs> Don't break into the car. <laughs> there might still be somebody here. <laughs> you never know. Um, but I think honestly, a lot of the times when people say that, it's kind of like, if they were in those certain eras, it's because they are remembering the Hello? happy memories and not so much the bad ones. Oh, I thought we were gonna swap over times again. Radio station? Like a lot of times people are like, oh, I would love to live in the 50s or 60s or 70s, 80s, 90s, and I'm like, mm, I feel like you really wouldn't. <laughs> you really wouldn't. Uh, oh, maybe I can reach my friend. Or somebody else. Hello? Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? Oh. oh. I said you can come in. Doors open. Yeah, Peter. God, come in. Oh, oh. hello there. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Good to see some work being done. Good yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. You got my no, note, you. I presume? Oh. Uh, yeah. Is, but I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away. Sure. <laughs> mind if I take a look? Um, yeah, I mind. Uh, let's be shy. It's still very much work in progress. I don't know how close we are to being finished our paper. <clears throat> and most of them are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> He's unpleased. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. I see. 
<laughs> abreast. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Let's be a little shy You'll again. Be the first to know. I assure you. I do have mm. some. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What racket? What is it this time? I can barely hear it. Oh. More of them today, I see. Getting ready for another march. <gasps> yeah, yeah, clean up, I clean suppose. up. Now, I can't quite believe how many women are out there. The more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for <sighs> academic work. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Soviet sympathizers? Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. Why did you talk to the you window? about that, in fact? You can't stand politics in college. That's like you half mean? the experience. That's right, sit down. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think a lot of people mean aesthetically or culturally in terms of eras, media. What worries yeah. me is that all that... That's true. ...is distracting people from the very good academic work we do. But it also comes with this kind of shit. <laughs> this is where I really do need your help. <sighs> okay. What? Right. Hadn't what do you I want? Better be working, though. I thought yeah, that yeah, was the yeah. priority. Oh, it is. That's the point, you see. This is about <sighs> your work. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch. A breeding ground for communism. <laughs> I need to show we're serious about what we do, and what I need from you is something publishable. Uh, I think no. I'm not working hard enough. It, it might look <laughs> slow, but I, I'm working as fast as I can, I assure you. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. Is it? I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. If it was great, you probably wouldn't need to prove nothing, prove honestly. Work. It's been three years now. Speak for itself, you know? I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Three years, okay. Not quite. Is this paper really taking up so much of your ample brain power? A hundred percent of it. There's not I much mean, to begin with. Your position isn't necessarily <laughs> permanent. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm sure you'd rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. <laughs> what would my promotion be that's to all. you? Yeah, that's all. Mm. Oh, uh... The, the one more right? thing. The atmosphere here. Things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed it's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. Oh, I don't, I, I don't actually. You don't? What is this? A Soviet spy ring. Huh? Recruited right here in Cambridge. Passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers what are if having he's a field day with it. How would you they know, used to huh? Hang for things like this. They used to do a lot of things that we shouldn't do you anymore. Think something's going on. They think the Good Cambridge Lord. Four. Might now be the Cambridge Five. I don't like him. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. You, probably. <laughs> I need to be absolutely sure we are Can you on imagine? our guard. What a twist. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can't uh, trust you on that. Uh, I don't know, I'm man. I'm not sure I'll be much use holed up in here, but I'll certainly keep an eye out. Be busy Let working. <laughs> I'll see myself out. You can't. Good. On. Close the door, huh? Oh. Oh. Okay, we're back. Uh. Now what? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Hello? Oh! Me! Is that my buddy? It's Peter here. It's me! Hello? No. <laughs> Sorry. Floyd. Nobody. Something's not right. I, I think. I think something's happened here. Something's happened. What, what do you mean? I think they've been attacked. Uh, well, this. 
There's nobody here. Mm -hmm. The place is abandoned. Panic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Every, everyone's things are here. There are just no people. Mm -hmm. it's, like they, it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. In the storm? No, the vehicle's still no, here. They didn't take the vehicle that's here. That doesn't sound right. I and see the keys there. They, eh? they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, mm -hmm. and they left a mess in their living quarters. Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. No, no, why would anyone need to fight out here? No, right. yes, a fight. <laughs> it's hard to know what each of the prompts are going to end up being. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. Two hours? Hmm, yeah, fair enough. Peter. That's what I was saying. Attacked. I agree. Th this is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets. What were you? Soviets. Here. Researching. Been so cold around here recently. Mm. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you could kill a dozen men down here and no one would know about it. True. Floyd, Panic. you're making me nervous. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. Mm. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. Mm. I don't like this. I, I think I should come back. No, I agree. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where? Where am I supposed to go? What about you? First things first, don't worry about me. You will more help if you keep yourself safe. You're in the radio heart, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? Keys. Oh, a map. <laughs> Keys will not help tell. Sorry. There's okay. A map here. <laughs> a map. Right. Yeah. I guess that's where we are. Deception I, point. I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Structure. Not to scale, of course. Uh, oh, buildings? There are more buildings Structures. to the north. Do you know what they are? Drift ice. I know the Norwegians are stationed out here, too. That'll be the Norwegian base. Oh, okay. Uh, sure panic? I'm sure Norwegians help us. Don't worry. The Norwegians are allies. Uh, They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. Mention there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? I do. Uh, got them. Got them. All right. I've got them. Uh, cathedral rock. <laughs> um, up ahead, there's there's some. That's kind really of huge far, though. On here. A cathedral rock. Are we gonna have Looks enough like gas? Looks like point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. Sounds like that's your first destination. My fists, that's all I need. I've got my hands. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that would actually. I don't know when they might come back. Get to the vehicle and head to that rock as quickly and as quietly as you can, alright? Okay, I'm on my sure way. You send those flares up so I can find you again. Hello? Floyd, are you still there? That was suspicious. I will, and, and remember those flares. I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Hmm. Okay, two thoughts. There's no flares. Or he's been attacked. Maybe there is somebody with him there holding him at gunpoint or something. I don't know. That feels weird that he dodged the flares twice. Mmm, okay. Thank God they don't make you hunt for keys. I know, we do, honestly, because we walk so slow in the snow. Maybe take one of these barrels with you, eh? 
I'm talking about you need fuel. These one of these probably has some sort of fuel. I don't know which one though. <laughs> right side. Oh yeah, we drive on the other side here. <laughs> Do I actually get to drive? Oh, let's go. Okay, we got like almost a full tank of gas. That's pretty good. Very interesting. Wow. Oh my. Oh, there it is. Cathedral Rock. This little thing here looks like a cat. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, the Cold War is kind of obviously known for... Oh, there's, there's little stripes here like a road who put those there <laughs> oh maybe we're gonna we're gonna transition back okay i need to get on Thanks the right side of the road like that. or the left Absolutely side rather soaked soaked it's raining yeah the cold war is known for not must you have know a terrible seat. having any fights but there was actually a lot of stuff that actually happened it must be freezing I don't know what happened the bus just didn't turn up oh am i supposed to keep driving Sorry, oh i do have control Whoa. Whoa. Oh, sorry, it's sorry. your papers. Oh, grab oh them no, my papers. It's okay. Oh, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry, I can rewrite this them. Is your grand tome about the clouds. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Uh, sure. Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Excuse yeah, me. I'm the one driving. Kind of, at least. I'm uh, sorry, my goodness. Panic? What? Panic. What? What's wrong? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't think Maybe that's what he meant. A bad idea. I no, don't no. Read them anyway. If you don't think I can understand them, I'm pretty sure he meant his writing. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. I meant they're probably illegible. <laughs> I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. <laughs> I wonder if oh, I can crash into another car. Yeah. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. No, that's okay. Crosswise. That's completely understandable. I thought you morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. I am. Anyway, sorry. As I said, See me in my office, Miss Ma'am. <clears throat> take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I didn't even think about that being a way that she could have interpreted that, that, but that makes her. sense why. Oh, the, the spotlight. Well, the rest is probably classified. <laughs> oh, there was another car. Never mind. I thought it was a helicopter. <laughs> and where is yours? May I ask? May I read that? Stop it. Yeah, come you on now. It, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. Fair enough. I wonder if she's brand new. Ooh, awkward silence. Okay. Sorry, that was a bit low. That's okay. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. <laughs> These roads are windy. You can talk That's to me, fine. You know. I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. Friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Molly, well, almost? that makes two of us. Thanks, <laughs> Doctor. Oh, oh my! I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe okay. down here. <laughs> I certainly didn't introduce myself that way, so uh, okay. Do you think I could crash Think's into? It. I'm gonna try. Never mind, it won't let me. <laughs> on a day like this, I do love this journey. <laughs> I just want to see what would happen. Uh, to the this? university, you mean? Yes. Oh. Sure. Well, I'm enjoying it too. <laughs> Picking you up in this mighty steed. My mighty wobbly <laughs> steed. Oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. True. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, oh you can just sit there. But wondering if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will be just fine. You saying my car is small? Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was. Don't mention it. Yeah. You know, it was an inconvenience. It. It won't happen again. I love her so much. I love her with all my heart. I don't know a damn thing about you, but I love her. This is the BBC Live program. Oh. Here is the news. Talks began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, mm -hmm. which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. <laughs> Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. 
In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era. Mm. I see. Oh, are we going back? I'm on honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Half of what was just said, I, it didn't soak into my brain because my ADHD was like focused on the driving. <laughs> Something about talks and keeping world peace or something, right? <laughs> okay, we're like half a tank already. We're not even there yet. Oh no. I think we might be able to make it there, but I don't think we're gonna be able to make it back. That's the only issue. <laughs> Technically, we are in an era called the long peace. True. <laughs> are we there yet? That bus? What is that? Five, six in a row now? I don't oh. know. I counted seven, maybe. It'll oh. never happen again. Yeah, never again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. oh, look, there's Molly. Molly. Well, I, I'm I guessing I haven't seen in the ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? Yeah, of course. She's at a protest. Or maybe running the protest. Cool. I love the art style of this so much. Whoa. It's so charming. Yeah. Clara. Oh, it's wonderful to see. Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't oh. call him that. Handsome? Molly, this is oh, Peter. Molly. Peter, this is Molly. Hi, Molly. I've heard. I like your fit. I've heard. Uh, heard what? You'll yeah, be what? joining us, I hope. For what? Sure. Joining yeah. you here outside. On the big march from Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. I Straight see. to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have yeah, to let's listen go. to us this time. Four days walk, isn't that right? Four days walk. Uh, sure. Worth it to oh, the that's world, not what I thought it would be. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too. When she's I didn't think that's what my answer would be. Working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. Good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. That's fast. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Sure, sure. 100%. Do you think this will make a difference? Well, it jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. Uh -huh. I would have thought as a man of science, you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. Yeah. I don't know what the right Seems option Clara's to say. My secrets. Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. Oh, was there no, an no, official it's, it's secret? Not, it's not. That's... it's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb mm. could kill one million people in an instant. But then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Mm. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. Disarming. Setting an example to the world. Um... It shy? must be more complicated than that. Didn't the Soviets think we were weak? These are not the answers. answers. They're not naive, you know. I thought They've got it the three was sides be. to stop entrenching themselves. All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, mm -hmm. every day we are one step closer to the end. Well, I agree, although with any luck, they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? <laughs> with any but, luck, they'll thrash uh, it out. Really? That's your you stance? Have for the last mile. Uh, of yeah, of course. course. Good to meet you, Peter. Good to meet you, too. Good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? Oh. I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? Of course I'll be there. Wouldn't miss it. Yeah. I'm and in coming. the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. Nao? Oh. Mm. She will. That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be Shanahan. off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding ding. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Interesting, Peter. <laughs> isn't she? Yeah. No more than you are. Oh my god, he really just pulled a no you. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah, some of those options were really not what I thought he was going to end up saying. I apologize. I wish it would give you like a little bit of a preview 
or or at least maybe like pop up um you know the emotions that it said it was the first time but maybe make whichever one it actually is a little bit bolder or something or just put the one that it actually is because the shy one was also the same button as negative where am i going sorry <laughs> Me about to run into the fucking wall. All right, let's get on out of here. Oh, so cool. Wow. I would love to visit Antarctica one day. I feel like it would be cold and miserable as hell, but it would be so cool. I remember back when I was in high school, way back when there was a program that kind of took you there, but. Um, I don't even remember what it was for. I think it was for like environmental research. Environmental research, I like this actually probably. <laughs> but I didn't end up going, but I, I regret it. I think it would have been really cool. I was at the base. Okay. You know what I'm gonna say? I've got a pretty good idea. You need to get out more. Friends? Oh. <laughs> uh, I have to work. Yeah, I gotta oh, work. Come on, old chap. I have to say, I've never really understood it. Here you are writing about clouds, and yet you never see the sky. What do you mean? I got a crack in my window there. Very good. But it won't last forever. I'm I'm really getting somewhere this time. Well, let's see some of yeah. these words then, shall we? Come on. Man or a mouse? Mouse, please. Boy, <laughs> top secret, is it? Isn't it? I have no idea. You can trust me. This is the second time they mentioned it was a secret. I'm guessing they keep it secretive so people don't steal their paper, right? <sighs> but it seems like they're think, friends. Sam? Yeah, Sam, what do you think? Oh my god, I'm sure some of Sam. this is very good. Yeah. What he didn't I even really read have it. Got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, Go away. old chap. When we'll hit that wall sometimes, it's all part of writing a paper. Now, come on, yeah. don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. <sighs> which makes two of us. <sighs> oh. Did Joseph not mention he got a promotion too? It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own <laughs> department, eventually. Professorship! You can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point quite was put that it. saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. Oh my god, that's the second time. I'm, I'm gonna stay firm on I this. Can do this. I don't need any help. Well, you need something. Left your own devices, you might go and start all over again. I'm right, aren't I, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. Mm. You no, know, sometimes it's better to see where you've gone wrong, that's all. Let it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. I don't like, like this Joseph guy. Joseph says, don't start again. Uh, I don't all right, know. then. What do you suggest, Sam? I know what you need. What? A beer? Go on, then. Some space what from you? you need? A smooch from you? Inspiration. You got real close there, buddy. Three new girls. You know the ones. Undergraduates. They'll be at oh. the Fox and Hounds this evening, and so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? Uh, no, nah, well, I'm gonna work. No, I should work. You should See ya. Come. But if you can't, that's one girl for Sam and two for me. We'll buy you a pint anyway. See you later, old chap. Good luck with it. A mega we'll see point. See you later. <laughs> Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Hmm. Man or a mouse? A mouse, and I'm gonna live happily at my mouse house with Clara. Thank you very much. Oh my God, it's Clara. Oh, there you are. <laughs> the Piccadilly. Seven o'clock. I thought you said. Tea room. Sorry, I'm oh, late. Fashionably late. <laughs> Come sit. I got you some tea. Mm. Oh, great idea. Thank you. Uh, sugar for you? <gasps> one sugar, two sugars, no sugar. Uh, one sugar, uh, please. One, please. Okay. Just a little bit sweet. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing all of I these bubbles are like jacket. my decisions. How much it actually affects anything, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. 
the paper again? Still all consuming? Mm. All consuming. All consuming. I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit too. No. Oh, uh, about yeah. my paper. Ab about my paper. Yes. Uh, Karen. The truth, I'm rather stuck. I gathered. Hmm. Could you finish it for me? Do you think? <laughs> I thought you could handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, can. Yeah. I can't. What's the it's a beautiful idea. You're a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. I know. I know. It, it could be something great. It could. It would be like... Just like guys. <laughs> having a superpower. Being able to predict the paths of the clouds. A next step, control the weather. <laughs> you could be... Cloud man. Are cloud you taking man. This seriously? Well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. You can predict that now. Wow. This weather reminds me of home. I love the rain. I miss the rain. Miserable? No. Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me. So that's why I choose to remember it. That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I had a wee cottage in the Highlands too. A wee cottage? Our parents would take us up there once in a while. Us. Oh, I'm blocking. I'm sorry. It's enthusiastic. Older, I can move down here. Um. Are you alright? Yes, sorry. Something happened to your brother? Uh, I didn't mean to pry. It's just, um. He was killed in a motorcycle accident near the cottage when he was uh, 18. Oh, I'm Ooh, so that's sorry. Going. That's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. Part of life. <laughs> How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. Oh, God. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. That sucks. Well, we don't have to go there if it's... She always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab an axe, go out each morning, chop wood. <laughs> you could be the woodsman, then. Yeah. Oh, cloud man, stronger. Oh no, I I, I like cloud man. So I love her. These clouds, you're a She's so subject. sweet. What do you think you need? Oh well, that's simple. More readings to work with. Hmm, sounds achievable. Well, in theory, yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. Mm. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors. Oh, I'm blocking the subtitles. Sorry, I'm playing a dodging game today. Mm, you've got oh. it. Oh, God, I must miss that one. Yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. Is, it needs to be somewhere very remote, and I need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Why remote? It makes sense, and I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe. Mm. What? That. Well, that cottage I mentioned, it's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. Now would be the time to go with summer coming up. All oh. summer free? Well, I'd have to check with my father, but it's remote. It's just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else. Mm. But if that's what you're looking for... If Cozy. you're sure. Promise me you're serious about this? Uh, yeah, oh, I think I you promise. promise you that. Mm, promise <laughs> me that. Anyway, <laughs> no more past tense. <laughs> no past more tense. past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage in until I started talking about it. Oh, that's I shouldn't okay. have said anything. We don't have to go. Thanks for understanding. Oh, but still, it sounds perfect for the work. Mm. I mean, sure, but... I think I'd but... be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. <laughs> Yeah, fair well, enough. If you're worried about your father, we don't need to. Is that type of era? No, no, I'm not worried about him. It's just not exactly Morden. Not exactly ringing the changes like Moll's. Now, her father even <laughs> knows what she's up to. <laughs> you saw Moll's on that march, didn't you? Voice acting is top notch. It's front. really good. Quite the force of nature. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that. Mm hmm. 
you think the looks bus directly at there? you, Peter? <laughs> the bus that would cost a fortune. Not that bus, silly. <laughs> you know, your bus. Oh. Ding ding. <laughs> oh, oh, the mighty steed. Ah, uh, the course. mighty steed. Well, the roads are pretty rough. Would you cope with it? Hmm. I don't know. It would be kind of bad to get uh, stranded up there. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> well, worth a shot. Oh my god, here we are. Oh, I guess we're. Careful. <laughs> we want to make it in one piece. Um, yeah, 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 don't worry. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. She sounds Excited anxious. To see it. Mm, me too. I haven't been here in so long. I'm a mm. bit nervous. I don't know. I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I hope you oh. like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Maybe she hasn't been here since her brother's accident. And thank all right. you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. <laughs> oh, uh, do, you, do you think he'd disapprove? Not exactly, no. Well, he is very old-fashioned, but... Well, thank you for coming along. Yeah, thanks. Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, who'd you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. Oh, so running, running away together. Stop it. This is purely <laughs> professional, isn't it? Uh... We could run away. Do you want it to be? Live in the woods. You oh. are being presumptuous, aren't you? A little bit. No, I'm here to help. Okay, You'll fair need enough. Help with the equipment and recording She's all the so details. She's so anxious. That. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'd build us a shelter, be the man of the woods. <laughs> oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could do that. Just yeah, 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 I believe you. Just remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. True. We do like that man better. I hope this isn't a big mistake. <laughs> In it. <laughs> what do you mean? The trip or me? Probably both, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, what well, we got on the radio? Oh, back to the news. No music? This is the BBC. Here is the news. The talks in Washington over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty were in deadlock last night, with mm. Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as, as a die in the woods. <laughs> hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war. Uh, I don't remember entirely the Antarctic Treaty. I think it was something like you're not allowed to attack in Antarctica or something like that. It's kind of like a neutral ground. But I could be wrong. Oh, we're back here. How much gas I got left? The last time we were driving, it didn't show me a gas meter, so I feel like probably close to out, you know? Oh, there it is. The fact that you actually remember that stuff as well, they paid no attention in class. <laughs> uh, I did not pay attention either. I looked it up later when I was in school for like uni, but not for uni just because I was curious, <laughs> but I still don't have a very good knowledge or memory of any of it, to be honest. I only remember like a couple random little facts. Wasn't this supposed to be the Norwegians? Hmm. That do look like a red flag, don't it? Not just me. <laughs> Okay, it's probably fine. There's more barrels here. Pick one up, please. I am. Hmm. We should leave. Uh, yeah, you you got you should leave. Get on out of there. Oh my god, we got a big rock. All right, ready to club heads. Okay, okay. Let's go. Or leave. Or go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. 
Come on, Peter. Oh, it's empty. Diplomatic relations achievement. Interesting. A lot of cans everywhere. This is quite There's empty as well. Maybe they all left. Hmm. There's a no here, but it looks blank. I don't know if I can click on this later. Don't you worry now, Pete. We're here for you. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Mother and father. Such a big boy now. Hmm. What happened today? It's not your fault. I just what want you to know today? that these boys. Well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Your Don't you weapon. listen to them, all right? Oh, did I get bullied? Hmm. I got bullied too. <laughs> Here he is. You sleep well. Ooh. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be Ooh. nice. I don't know why, but I have so the footsteps up the stair made me feel dread for a second. So like... He is. No more tears. Eh? No, no, he's he's settled. Ah, this kind of father. Got it. Go on. It's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure. Good night, Pete. I'd like you to stay. Good night. Good night, Mother. And you see the little pilot plane here, too? Little soldiers. Oh, God. I feel so uncomfortable. Oh, Peter. What are we going to do with you? Raise me to respect and understand my emotions. I'm saying this, but it's true. You've got to learn to stand up for yourself. Next time, you hit them back. You hear me? An eye for an eye. That's what I've always said. Isn't the saying an eye for an eye and the world goes blind? <laughs> You see it coming, you get in there first. Oh. Yeah, solid advice, I know father. It hard, but life's hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? I got this exact advice when I was younger. Yeah. I think a teacher told me that. No, I don't want to hear another word. Long day tomorrow. So not another peep. All right? Yeah, sorry. My emotions are affecting your long day tomorrow. See you in the morning. No, oh, I don't like him. No more tears. Yeah, that's why. That's twice he said that. No more tears. It's very, um... Men don't cry. He's all right. Feeling. He's quiet. He'll be asleep in no time. It's too hard on the rest. It's not his fault. Reg. Reginald. He's blaming. Well, sounded like that. Mm. Well, I know you were listening. It's like you don't care. It's like she lives here. It's like care. That's what I'm doing. Mm. Making sure he can take care of himself. You think I like seeing him like this? No. No. You're too bloody soft with him, that's the problem. That's how we got here in the first place. Huh? I won't have my son Molly If that's what you think I'm doing, I'm sorry. Well, you don't sound sorry. What are you up to now? I can't understand why they don't find him. I'll get them to New York. But anyway, I'm sure this is only what you understand. Who? She's a detective. No. No. Good gracious, look at me saying it next door. Oh, oh damn. I'm going to see her back. You are not. Excuse me. Did you hear? I said you are not going to see her. Don't make such a fuss. Oh, she's, he's trying to forbid her from going. I know it's a bad idea. These boys have to know what they're doing is wrong. They need to get their comeuppance. Come on, baby. This is going to come to her. You've got her and get to everyone. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, baby
You're making worse for it. If you're talking about compass, he should be the one digging it out. He's not like that, Reg. He likes his books. He likes taking care of things. How old kids sell like that? They just grow out of it. He'll grow soft. He just... Oh, shit. Oh, I'll get back in bed. Oh, my God. Hide your Game Boy under the sheets. We're sleeping. What the hell are you doing out of bed? What if I don't reply? I'm sleeping. I'm asleep. Fuck. Don't lie to me, Pete. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say before I left? Uh, no more tears. No more tears. And no more sound, I said. So why are you disobeying me, eh? You are in serious trouble tomorrow. What was I saying about lack of discipline? This is the result. This is what you're doing. I won't have it. In my house and all. My house too, Rich. Yeah, it's her house. I am for it too. I am Jesus. Calm down, stop it. I worked bloody hard for this family. It's not like you're bringing anything in. The least I ask for is a little respect. What do you mean, like our son? Bringing in our child? Oh, good lord. Good. See ya. Stay out. We don't need ya. Go bye. It's so annoying because this is obviously, what, oh, set in the 60s? So this is normal. Good night, but this. Pete. Good night, mother. But this still happens now. Like, a lot of people still think this Sorry. way. It's not your fault! You don't have to apologize! Oh my god, we're back. Okay, I want to see if I can click on this note. I cannot. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, I've had conversations, like, with my dad and my grandfather, and, like, they both had upbringings like that, too, where the father's very, you know, don't show emotions, you'll be soft, and all this kind of shit. It's very... stupid. Oh, oh my god. What? Nothing. Oh, Damn the cloudy. Kettle's hot, that's all. Watch out. Yeah, watch out, watch out. Get down. This looks quite cozy. How are you right? doing? What's that? Oh, yes. Um, have you got the tea on? Yeah, oh, I just boring. said it was hot. Hope there's enough. Well, she's don't distracted. Worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. So what? you don't want any tea? Like it's fine, nothing. What is wrong? Are you sure? It doesn't sound like nothing. Hello? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh. Oh, don't mention it. It's a... It's a very comfy sofa. Is there oh, just one bane? I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. Why would I be annoyed? Because I'm a man. It's not the same for us, is it? <laughs> Probably, what, what actually. You, you know what, what most of the men at Cambridge are like? They yeah. can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like, they just get a slap on the back and a well done old chap for us. <sighs> it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. Hmm, it was like that when I was in high school too. Right, it's it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? <sighs> Maybe I should have picked nice the other option. Have anything to do with you? That's what I mean. I see. Just men in general. <laughs> True. Right, I'm generalizing. It's just. I suppose. That's fine. Majority. <laughs> school. Um, girlfriends who play into this whole thing too. The whole parade of it. Hmm understand my interest in science I thought I was a bit weird you're a good weird well only in the right ways thank you yeah. <laughs> sorry I'm just in an odd frame of mind that's okay the work might help keep my head straight maybe a walk would help you no no I, I like it I'm enjoying it really I want this to be good that's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism for better or worse. <laughs> yeah, Hard to live up to. Well, it's good to be ambitious. And what's this if it's not ambitious? True. 
Mm, I like which her. there's something I noticed. Show me. I've just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings. Don't worry, everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting. It's it's all consistent. It's just it's just consistently higher too compared to the ones we took a few months ago. Mm -hmm. He's got new Isn't equipment, that? maybe. That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double check everything again now. It's just something I noticed as I glanced over them. Mm. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. Sure. Get my head down. Just take care of yourself. Take oh, breaks. Don't worry about me. I do worry. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. All oh. right. Why not? If you're sure. Yeah. I'm really glad that <laughs> the responses that I chose, I don't know what the other options would have been, but I'm really glad that it was, oh, so just men in general, instead of making it about him. I hate it when, <sighs> people do this all the time now too, where people are making general comments about majority of, for example, men, because, you know, there's a lot of bad shit that's this bad shit, you know? And then they're like, well, I'm, you know, not like other men type of thing. And it's like, well, not all men. And it's like, okay, obviously not all men, obviously, but <laughs> you get the point, right? And it's like, I'm glad he didn't do that, I guess. Like you can sympathize with what somebody's going through without making it about yourself. Okay, Robbie, how long do we need to stay quiet? Pa said, sit here until dinner's ready. When will it be ready? I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. Wow, I had notes just like this with my sibling too when I was younger. That's quite cute. The different colored pens too, so you know who's talking. Dear Ma, happy mothering Sunday. Sorry the card's in such a state. Clara wanted to make it. What do you mean? It looks great. Ma, Pa, Robbie, me, and the card. <laughs> It's cute. Dear Ma, Robbie is being mean. He wouldn't help me with the card. I love you, Clara. God damn it, Robbie. <laughs> Just because she wants to make the card doesn't mean you can't help her. I like how she told me to read books and I instead am snooping on all of her personal notes. Oh, wait, never mind. I can read a book too. There was two things. <laughs> Foundation Engineering Science. Robbie, good luck with your studies. Great things are ahead of you. I know you'll do us proud, Pa. Robert McKirk, 1953, and Clara McKirk, 1955. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, school books probably. I, know, I personally hate uh, generalizing in, in general. I feel like uh, it's what people will use to eventually do evil. I think it depends on the context, honestly. I feel like it's bad to generalize all the time for sure, but I think sometimes with generalizing, it can help to have people look at the statement and understand that, yeah, you might be included in this generalization and maybe you're not, but maybe you are. And so maybe you should like read through it and understand so that if you are, maybe you'll be able to kind of understand a different mindset or a different perspective. Because I think a lot of the times what happens is that people are like, well, that's not me, so I don't have to do it or I, I don't have to change or this kind of thing, you know? So I, I think there's like pros and cons, but I think the context is entirely important. Like definitely sometimes generalizing is bad, of course. What else do I do? Oh, music? Do you want music? Oh, Will that distract wow, look you? at this. <laughs> That whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. We didn't own much music. Is this one oh, all right? Oh, it's wonderful. I love hope it. it's not copyrighted. <laughs> You're right. Oh. I can't concentrate. Sorry, I'll turn it off. Where's that tea? Over there. Careful, it's hot. Careful, it's hot. Warn her. She's not gonna remember. Ah. Ah. You oh, all right? Clara. Uh, that, 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 my hand. It's hot. I said it was hot. What? That's Sorry, not I wasn't important, listening. Peter. Help her. Get some snow from outside or something. Hold it up gently. What are you doing? Uh, I'm Helping. Not. Putting something on this bandage. What? Honey. Honey? Honey. It helps, trust me. Oh. Is that true? I don't think I've ever treated burns for, like, with honey. I've done, like, aloe Show vera. Oh, how silly of me. Cut open a little plant. Here goes some the, of the tea. gel on. That's okay. Is there something else, Clara? No, it's... it's silly. Come on, I'm... I'm sure it's not. It's been a long time and I... I should be over it by now. But it's my brother. I dreamt You don't have to be over night. that. I That's see. That's fine. He, 
You thought you might feel odd here, didn't you? Yeah, but it's strange. I, I feel guilty too. Hmm. Survivor guilt? You don't need to feel guilty. I've been forgetting him. Yeah. That, that doesn't make you guilty of anything. And now I'm here again and here he is. And everything I look at. We don't need to stay if it's too difficult. No, I, I'm happy I came. I should have done it sooner. I'm not imposed all this on you. It's okay. It makes me wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. What do you mean? You know, Cambridge and the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? Oh, uh, no. No, no, but I... <laughs> I don't think I'd follow. You'd have been successful no matter what, wouldn't you? Because she was an only child now. I love my father, you know. Yeah, because in Your this father, day... What's he got to do with They it? only they care about the sun. Everything. My interest in physics, engineering, maths, everything. He'd take me to all the museums, make little experiments with me in the shed. He was an engineer, you see. Cool. But when I was so little, before he could really let me play with anything, my brother got all that attention. Mm -hmm. And when he died, it all came to me. His passions, uh, they all became mine. Yeah. You're doing great things with them too. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I just wonder sometimes whether he'd be showing an interest in a girl if my brother hadn't, you know. Yeah. I just... Would I have just been forgotten? Mm, probably not forgotten. Maybe no. sidelined, though. No, I'm sure not. The worst of it is sometimes in I this feel... era. Oh, it's, it's horrible. I can't even see it. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Sometimes I feel grateful it happened. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this chance. Isn't that awful? Mm, no. Not necessarily. No, I understand. There. That should hold it. Thank you. Here. Mm, Clara. Do you think you could manage to hold on to me? Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, give her a hug. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh god, the oh, I love the art style so much. I love the color palette that they use. It's so cool. I hope my friends are alive. That's a long time to be out in the cold. Floyd! Floyd, can you hear me? Oh my god, so loud. Sorry, the sound mixing is all over the place. Uh, about that. It's not Norwegian. It's Soviet. Can you repeat that? This is a Soviet base. No. No, no, no. Wait, how are you getting this message out then? Have you been captured? No, no, I'm fine, Floyd. I, I, I don't think there's anyone here either. It's freezing. Everything was powered down. I, I, I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. You followed the map, right? I just followed my instincts. No idea. Look, there's another map here. Does it explain anything? Oh. Yeah, let me take a look. Uh, where are we? Did you see anything that might be the Norwegian base? Uh, this? Oh, yes, up here. Yes, oh my god, I didn't even see, see that. Uh, what are these buildings? Crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain right. like? Is it a straight shot? He didn't confirm. It looks like it's between two <laughs> mountains. On the oh, mountain. side of a bay. There's a okay. ship marked on there, too. Christ. Oh, oh yeah. There's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. Hmm. There's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. Floyd, I, I can see if I can find some medicine for you. Bring it back to you. No, Cardiograph no, no, achievement? Makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. I haven't Three. been able to raise anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. 
Mm. You need help, Floyd. We don't he have does. any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Do you understand? I don't. Yeah. It's better, better being there to help you. What if I run out of fuel on the way to the Norwegians? A hundred percent you will. As far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. Oh, God. That's insane. If you could see this... It's very you know far to walk. Look, In this weather. This is it. I don't like it any more than you do, but you're a grown man, Peter. If you don't do this, we're both done for. You hear me? We are dead. Mm. Peter, yeah. Oh, Peter. Yeah, that's gonna be really scary, honestly. I'm here, all right? All right, I'll, I'll go. Because he could just as easily die on that trip. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh, sure. I'm, uh, I'm heading for those two mountains, and it's um, it's the other side of the bay past that. He set him up, you think? And did you say there was a ship? That would yes, be interesting. Yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. The mountains, bay, ship, say it back to me. A ma mountains bay ship. Mountains. I was listening. A bay. bay. Yeah, yeah. And then the yeah, the ship. Come ship. on, Peter. Right, you are. <laughs> I'll save the flares for when you're on your way back, alright? Mate, come have a little Oh. Party. See now he mentions the flare. I think there's no flares. Just Just hang on, alright? Because he dodged it twice before. I'll try and catch some entertainment on the radio. Some of those beeps, maybe. Beeps? I didn't no? notice. I was searching for you. You think we should be worried? No what idea beeps? what it is. No better way to piss off a stranded pilot, though, I'll tell you that. Mm. <laughs> the corona. <laughs> oh. Good luck, Floyd. Yeah, because he could, he could so easily die on the trip there or just trying to get back as well. But also, yeah, if he went back, they would both end up dying. So really, it's a lose-lose either way, honestly. Oh, I see. There's the two mountains. That is way closer than I thought. Or maybe it's just put the perspective, honestly. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, we have barely any gas left. We're already in the red, dude. We're not gonna make it. We're gonna have to walk. There's no way. It was so far. But I guess really what other choice do you have in the situation, right? Other than oh we I have to admit I'm a bit nervous getting oh. into the passenger side. Oh my god. Nervous? Why? I've seen you driving. What? I'm a great I'm a driving. great driver. You've been spending too much time with Joe, I'd say. True. Only joshing, old chap. Oh, old chap. Sam is not as bad as Joe. Oh, I can drive now. Right. Okay. Let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. Two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged. Right? Is that Unhinged? Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. <laughs> U-N hinged. We love sure unhinged. You you in the English department. It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although, <laughs> there was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. What happened to Molly? I haven't heard anything. What story? Okay. Oh. No, you've oh, been the transitions are so again, cool. Haven't you? Lucky you. The street lamps and the road lights. Molly lines. Shanahan. Got taken away yesterday on campus. What? It was a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Taken away? Plain clothes police, or so it looked. Mm. Photographs here on page two. Interesting. I know her. Uh, she's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Is she okay? Well, I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. <laughs> but you know her. Oh, it's a black and white photo. She's a friend. Well, uh, I feel like uh, you can kind of, of tell. Friend. <clears throat> Good lord. You're not mixed up in all this, are you? Uh, you know, politics isn't my thing. Too much writing to do. It says here she's rumored to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> what Miss makes them Shannon, say that? Lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti nuclear weapons organizations. CND? All of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. Huh? That seems a bit of a stretch. I can't believe it. 
It's gonna make the professor jump. Yeah, I can't believe Not it either. Not the to the university in the papers. Don't believe it. Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university dealing with a fallout. The well, same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Hmm. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Oh, so yeah. Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? Yeah. She is. Yeah. She'll be worried sick. Look, despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. We're almost I wouldn't get too worked up about it. Only mm. questioning? I wouldn't want to go through that, would you? Well, of yeah. course, I hate to see it. But, you know, you hate to nothing see to do it. with us, old chap. It is when you know someone who's involved. Yeah. We'll over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't what be the... so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, then. Let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Uh, what was this is four? What I am when you're driving. Rhymes with verified. Terrifying. Okay, I get the message. <laughs> We're so doing we'll fine. Down. If I should live long enough. No, 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 no. Keep going. Yeah, no. we're out. Come on. Oh God. That is so far to walk. No, 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 no! Damn it! Well, time to get out and walk, I guess. Interesting. So, I have a theory. <laughs> it might be a little early to, to call a theory, honestly. But we were kind of flipping back and forth, almost like flashbacks before, to memories, right? And... Actually, can I? Oh, I have to click to walk? Before, I, I could just wazzed it. Okay. We'll keep clicking. But that time, it merged both of the worlds together. So I kind of... It's really state-of-the-art technology. It weighs a ton. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wonder if he's starting to hallucinate because of the cold. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that this if I was so carrying pretty. the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, fair I've enough. I've been meaning to tell you I... I heard from Molly just before we left. <gasps> oh. Uh, is she, yeah, is she okay? I, I hadn't heard anything since she was arrested. Me neither until now. Well, it's been awful, as you'd expect. Arrested and questioned like that for so long. Yeah. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. Oh, Molly. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. Oh. Oh, well, that's, well, that's good. Relief. Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain, but something was a little off about it. Yeah. You suspect something's going on? Foul play? Mm -hmm. Something must be going on. But I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. Maybe she's being threatened because our professor was also kind of trying Sounds to do the like same it's thing. Really affected her. Hmm. He it's kind just, of like made the protests and stuff about I hope it doesn't women ruin things. on her campus. Academic career, everything, you know. So I wonder. If so that's many why. people think that where there's smoke, there's fire. It's bloody unfair. Yeah. You don't know she's not coming back. No, but I know there are people who'd much rather she didn't. There you go. Yeah, like my professor. Wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. Mm hmm This cold war suddenly feels a bit real, doesn't it? The snow. Oh. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, so I feel like... What I was kind of saying before we transitioned over... I feel like maybe Peter is starting to hallucinate because of the cold. So I kind of wonder, like it seems like memories, but I kind of wonder if some of it will be a bit skewed and like more so hallucinating rather than memories, but I don't know. Oh my. Oh, she's already all set up over there. Hey, wait for me. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Why are you saying that like up? we're meeting here? <laughs> On the count of yeah, three. Yeah. 
One. Oh. Too late. <laughs> I'm never tired of doing that. <laughs> hmm. Taking all your readings? Oh, maybe we are just meeting. Mine for the day. I thought that was at the end of our hike. Maybe this is a totally different that day quick. that we're doing oh, this. Well, you know me. Several Ready times. Because she said she never gets tired Absolutely. of it, so maybe we are off and setting these things up. Absolutely. Although, you mocking there's something me? I want you to see first. Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. We're going up here. We climb. We climb. Uh, yeah. Of course. Come on. I'll go anywhere Together with you. To the top. Hmm. She is so sweet. I love her so much. The car is gonna be covered in snow yeah. by the time he goes I'm back. Here, I'll help you up. If I can do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Yeah. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. Allowed you. Hmm. She didn't even give me a hand. She said she was gonna give me a hand, then she didn't give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Those readings, okay. Peter. I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. Oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can mm. still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. Maybe they're faking the reports. Oh. Oh, so curious. I don't know what it would be, like, if they're sending off... I mean, not, like, big nukes, but maybe some sorts of bombs or something. Something that would have to go up into the atmosphere and, like, really affect... Keep down. Is that a pig? Oh, it's a bird. Sorry. Oh, what is it? I thought the White face was the eagle. ass. I haven't seen one in years. Wow. Amazing things. It's Eagles. Something. What? This is special. I thought they were extinct, poisoned by pesticides. Oh. She's come out just for us. Uh, well. New life, eh? That's quite significant. You thought oh. they were extinct, but there's, there she is? Wonder if we'll see anything like that again. Oh, okay. Wonder where it came from. <laughs> You're just a wee climb. Huh, very curious. Okay. This game is so pleasant. This is so... <laughs> it makes me think, where this did it come so from? Comfy. I mean, the extra radiation. Yeah. Where did that come from? I've got to be bombs. Are you sure it's not a quirk of all this new equipment? I bet you they're setting off bombs and not telling anybody about it. Or something like that. I don't know. Because, like, yeah, the Cold War, there wasn't any of, like, the major nukes set off or anything. But there was still a ton of fighting and there was a ton of, like... There, there was still a lot of casualties despite it being, like, a Cold War. You know? So I All wonder if the they're trying to be sneaky be about something. inflated readings. Oh, come on. Take my hand. Oh, thanks. There you go. Up you go. Right. You're so right. sweet. Let's try and work it out. Sure. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So, what do we know? We know the readings are at their highest down in the southern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And not as high here, up north. Right. Mm -hmm. It's so... being diluted somehow, is my thinking. Uh, mixed in by all the currents. That would make sense. Oh. Okay. Well, it's it's heading from the south up to the north. Yes. All right. Uh, oh, Your model oh. of the air currents. You see that ass grab? That would prove that's what's happening, <laughs> that there's this general movement north. <laughs> I think me. we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. <laughs> We've been running the model forwards all this time, but our starting point has always been South America. Huh. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Run it differently, you mean? Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation mm. has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere yeah. further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? I don't know. Ah. Well, maybe that's why we're down there. People are going to want to hear about it. In the I hope real so. world. We might be onto something. Curious. 
I wonder if they're a couple now, even though that's far less important than what they're talking about. Because <laughs> he got up onto the rock and then he put his arm around her, well, probably her waist rather than her ass. It's this very couple you know? Cloud you made. <laughs> bigger than clouds! Although I know you can't believe such a thing. <laughs> oh, I might, given the chance. It might be what this paper is meant to be about. <sighs> Look at this. Oh, oh god. Just want to get she swerved him. No spot. <laughs> huh. Interesting. What's up with all the purple? It's windy up here. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm so cold. Oh god, I'm so cold. Cold. <laughs> the very idea. That was a great transition. <laughs> oh my. Oh, we're back. Oh, so cool. So maybe they're not a couple, but maybe he's trying to make like little flirtatious advances or something. And maybe she's, I don't know, either unrequited or being shy about it or something. I'm not sure. Maybe she's just oblivious. She, she didn't beautiful, see. Isn't it? Not as beautiful as you. Oh, it's a beautiful view. Oh, I should have pressed the, the idea bubble. It would... It would be a beautiful thing. I thought he was going to compare her to the view. It would be. If you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. Yeah. You might be needing some help. You want to help me? Would you like to help me with it? Miss Professor? Writing it? Well, of course. Yeah. It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Oh, so, so now it's yours, is it? <laughs> of course not. It's ours. Come on now. It could be ours, though. Oh. <laughs> this beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Oh, yeah? Which thing? The, with the paper, right? Come here. Oh, oh my God, Claire. <laughs> Lean all the way into it. Oh my god. Oh. You're gonna kiss? Oh. So cute. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Her whole body just like. She said, let me dab into that. <laughs> That's really cute though. <laughs> Look at her arm. Oh my god. Hold you from what? an arm's length. Oh. <laughs> I think we could make it to those trees down there. But there's just so much space between them. If we run. <laughs> Here it comes. If it hits oh, us, we can take my jacket. Promise me that? We'll promise, promise you that. You that. Let's go then. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Gotta keep room for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this oh, isn't oh. the way back, is it? No, she just said we're going into I the forest. I know another way around. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll get less wet. Wait. Well, that's not the goal, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yes, but yeah. Slow down. Hold on. I didn't I realize I could choose the direction. The <laughs> oh my God! Look at the way she runs. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's great. I love her. It's great. Really. You're great. Finally. Oh, I'm so happy for them. Keep going. What are you doing? You're going to lose her. Oh my God. There she goes. Is she gone? Peter. Come on now. I know there's a lot of rocks, but you're, you're quite tall. You can just step over them. I promise you that. She's gone. <laughs> Where did she go? Please don't die by like a bear or eagle or something. What is that? Hey, hey, move the camera back, please. I saw like a, a Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah, there it is. Fun fair. Interesting. Oh god, kind of creepy all the little ghost people on there. And there's two layers of this. I, is that a thing? That's not a thing, is it? Why is there two? How'd you guys get all the way up there? Oh my god. Hello. 
maybe it is a thing. It's so much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my I god. I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but now Not it's as more... beautiful as you. Oh, I don't know. Um, Can we exciting, go for darts? I suppose. Not just all that. Is this our first day? This. <gasps> this. You this. realize this is a big occasion, don't you? Our first day. It's the Let's first go. time you've taken me out, Dr. Hamilton. Dr. No. Hamilton. <laughs> At night? In public? Oh my, skin. Not working, loose. not hiding a wee anywhere. Win a prize We're every out. time. Courting. <laughs> Courting. <laughs> oh, the currency. She is so precious. Cuddly Bullseye. Toy. You know me so well. Wonder thrills. Oh, and then boys and their toys. What boys and their toys? You don't like toys, ma'am? Ten shots, win a prize. I already got the best this. prize. Whoa. What? Good grief, what are you doing? I love this penguin. As you I said, would like that. <clears throat> Courting. Are you now? <laughs> Let's go. This is Pencil so wholesome. Knock down all the cans of bears yours. Or more likely yours. Oh. <laughs> I want I the think penguin. This more for him. Not what? many men can do what I'm about to do. Uh, you you're not like other men, Clara. A knight in shining armor. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I, I always That's thought so I'd be good cute. in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Did you? You went to be in the army, really? Go on then. Prove to yourself, dead, army you man. Army? Oh. Sure. I, I like know. how it's. Maybe I had you all wrong. Whoa, the sensitivity. Oh god. <laughs> you really don't need to prove anything. What happens if I shoot the bear? No, don't do that. We need to we need to prove. We need to prove. Come on now. See, my lad, only another oh. five of them. Oh, it was the dad. I'm soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. Oh. How many was I supposed to shoot? Now what's he oh. up to, cheeky little bugger, spoiling our game? Go on, see if you can get him. No! I will not! I love him! I'm gonna shoot. I'm not even gonna shoot the one near him. Ah! You missed him! I didn't miss him. I shot exactly what oh. I meant to. That's, uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, oh, no. Peter? <clears throat> Just fine. a trauma flashback, don't worry about it. <laughs> Happens all the time. Why is it so dark, though? Where am I? Clara? Oh shit. The fair is closed, go home. Where where does she go? Oh no. Oh, can I walk? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting I can actually walk around sometimes. <laughs> Clara Did he did he spend all day shooting and you left or something? Man, how's she gonna know I'm Golden Valorant now? <laughs> no, come back. What is this doom hallway? Hello? Oh, we are! Back in our little parka. Our little Jackie. Hello? Oh, good. Radiation. Oh, are we gonna die from radiation? Hmm. So maybe that's why we're in the Antarctic, because maybe we came to research why the cloud thing was so different. Um, because they were, they were saying that there was an excess of radiation, right? So maybe that's why we're here. CCCP. I don't know what that's for. Where are- how did we get here? When did we get here? Right, we were walking, right? We were walking to the Norwegian base. So is this the base? I like as well how they made this uh, this archway look just like the fairway one. Oh, there's the boat. We made it. That's great. Hello. Me. I saw Clara! Oh, I'm not yet fully done, sorry. There was barely any fuel. 
I've, mm. I've walked all this way. I wonder how long that took us. He's gotta be struggling out there. Where are you? I'm at the base. I'm alive. I'm just, I'm just very cold. I don't know. I don't know what this place is. It, it, it wasn't on the map. It's another base. Uh, oh, of, so it's not the machines. Norwegian base. An uncharted base too. Yeah, Clara's here. There were <laughs> lots. Of fun fair. Uh, Clara was there. Uh huh. What the hell? <laughs> Are you keeping it together? Yeah. Not no, at all. No, there was no one. Just, just a mine. A, a radioactive symbol. A mine. God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? The boat. Floyd. Floyd, I can see the ship at last. Oh, there's another one right here. Uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. Mm-hmm. You can see the Norwegian ship. I can. I, I, I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's no a, building with it, though. A boat. A small boat on this side. Okay. So that's something. Do you think you can use it to get across? Yeah, sure. It might just kill me, but what else can I do? Except stay here. Yeah, it's really not that far. Yeah, no worries. We're not gonna die out here. You can count on me. Mm. Yeah, please, please listen to me. You know where you are now. This is the last push. You've made it this far. I know you can do it. You're so supportive. Yeah, no problem. He must be terrified that we're gonna abandon him. Cause like really there's I'm here, I can do it. I just need to warm up. Peter could just as easily just leave. Yeah. If you hang around, we've got a problem, mate. There's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. You don't want to get caught out on the water with the thick of it. Look, I know Sorry. you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. Yeah, fair enough. Let's go. Floyd, you know that. I'm giving it everything. Just then get on, and get. Please, Peter. I don't want to die here. Mm. Yeah, All right. of course. All right. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. He's so nice. Yes, I'm ready. Get out of there! Come on! No, oh, so supportive. God, yeah, it must be terrifying being out there because at least Peter knows where he is, but the other guy has no idea. Peter. Fox and Hounds Good Bar. To see you at last. This you is the bar well. they mentioned in the we beginning. Were just talking about you, old chap. Or yeah. Pub. We got the first round in to celebrate. Oh, so, thank you. is this a different day? It's going shockingly well at last. Or did I end up going to the bar? It is, thank you. John, oh. your eminent professor mentioned it. I gather you showed him an early copy. Word spreads when something's good, that's all. Never seen the man so delighted. Mm. So, <clears throat> I propose a toast. That's great. To Peter. To Peter. What a... Yes, take the compliment, there. will you, Peter? May this Clara. be one foot inside the club. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so then this is all, obviously a different day then. Been a so they're matching the paper. Summer. Got everything you wanted in Scotland. It's yeah. an inspiring place. Yes. Very beautiful. Scotland. <laughs> she is. She is. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, my hands are clean. I just mentioned Clara. We love that Clara. Was it. Clara, good man, Peter. Like I said, inspiration. Sorry. Shouldn't I have said anything? I'd rather uh, it was kept quiet. I, I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea, that's all. Um, Clara's been helping with the readings and... Helping? Well, a bit of note-taking here and there, filing. Uh, that kind of thing. A lot of writing, too. Well, I thought it was more, you know, assisting than writing. Huh? No, no, she's done a lot on it now. Changed the focus of it a little, too. There's so, no way they're going to try and... See. So wouldn't that make it a joint paper? So, yes. I... I think we all know that Peter is the real professor in waiting here. I think he knows better than anyone how much he put into it and who wrote what. Isn't that right, Peter? 
Oh, I'm getting mad. I'm aware his chances of promotion would be considerably lower if he'd only done half the work in collaboration. Oh. No, I, I didn't know that. Fine. Fine what? Collaboration isn't a bad thing. Yeah. No, I agree. Unless, of course, you're that girl Molly collaborating with the communists. Well, I think the word you're They're looking for is They're still talking about Molly? Well, didn't work out too well for her either way. Shame she got... I'd have happily colluded with her. Joe. Ugh. That, you're right. You're right. Too complicated. I prefer things with fewer strings attached. Having the KGB and MI5 watching through the curtains, that would really put me off. Yeah, that's what's important, buddy. I wonder what's happened to her. Well, she hasn't come back for the start of term yet, apparently. Beyond that, who knows? A vanishing lecturer. She was let go. She didn't get charged. Why are they talking about worry? it like this? Not especially. You're not worried, are you? You've got no secrets to hide? All the secrets. I just think she was unfairly singled out. Thank it's all water under the bridge. New term. Things will have settled down. Fresh start and all that. My thoughts exactly. New term, new students. Speaking of which, I don't like the way you said that. What do you think of those two over there? No. Ugh. Very nice, I'm sure. Very nice. Hold this, will you? Are well, you leaving us? Don't be so possessive, Peter. What are you, the wife? Oh, good lord. Like you said, Sam, never too late for a fresh start. I hate this guy. I meant what I said. Hearty congratulations on the paper. You always had that passion, much more than the rest of us. <laughs> And this sounds like that old conundrum, women or work. Why not both? Just don't forget your years of struggle. Don't miss this opportunity now. Wouldn't it's still an opportunity if it's shared. You deserve. Huh? All right, Joe. You've made your point. That's not what I thought right. I was going to say. I'm off to get what I deserve. Mm. Don't wait up, chaps. You're a disgrace, Joe. Angry. Absolutely shocking. Stop hitting on your students. How does he keep doing it and getting away with it? He's a straight white man, that's why. <laughs> okay, let's go on the boat, eh? I fucking hate that guy. Punch him in the face, I wish I could. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's take the boat over. Let's get going. Our friend is freezing out here. Hello. Come on, oh. Pete, pay attention, head in the bloody clouds again. That's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. Well, I head in the clouds. Look, I'm just studying for my paper, which you would know if you Faster took time that, son. in my interests. Oh, I'm keeping both in time. What? They are in time. What do you mean? I'm doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like the dad. And try and... Keep your weight in the middle, too. You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. You should tip him in. Do you want to help? No, this is yeah, just you can help. listening, son. They're trying to work things out for yourself. Aww. How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar. Then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> I am... Yeah, actually, why are we only running one? Oh, no, look. <laughs> A strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Okay. Now remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. Sure. But keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I never keep us straight and strong. true. No, 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 no! <laughs> Trying. You're that stressing side. me I'm out. On the poor side. Help! Jesus, Help. Pete, that one. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> Hope and anchor. What is that for? Am I even moving? Oh, come on, give it here! Give it I, here! I'm go, not moving. back there, I'll do Oh, it. God. <laughs> no help. He's just a kid, man. I knew you weren't made for this! I wasn't born to row a boat? Yeah, most people aren't. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I hate this dad. Bad dad. Come on. Prove you can go the rest of the way. The current's not as strong now. You rode like four I... times. Good lord. Okay. Push him in. <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual mechanic I'm supposed to be doing. I have done my best, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. 
well, that's... I will always be here to help. Correct. I also think you shouldn't shame people for asking for help. When you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Oh, God. Well... Oh! Cora? Oh, <laughs> Good roll, Hello? Captain Hamilton. Oh, get me away from this thing. Oh, where it's are calm we? out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. <laughs> it's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. It's practically <laughs> a storm surge. I love her. Hey, the current is hard to, to row against, all right? I think if the wind had been in another direction... Oh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. Yeah, she doesn't really care about the whole big strong man thing. All right, thank you. Neither should you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. Oh, you're so cute. What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? Uh, I really like you like this. It's nice. Mm. Remember when we met on that train and you're so self-conscious about your tie? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember. Seems silly now, eh? Oh, am I supposed to be guiding them? I'm so sorry. You were wearing that lovely sweater you got on now, weren't you? Not this. Well, I only bought it Was recently. She? It's a new color for me. Ah, uh, sorry. Mistake. My memory must be playing tricks on me. Ah, uh, strange. Hmm. So my memory must be playing tricks on me. Interesting. Absolutely. While you're out, I checked with the hotel, and they said we could stay another night. And I thought, why not extend this holiday as long as we can? <laughs> extend mm. the celebration. Celebration. Oh, you That's know, an aggressive uh, accent. Is her work? accent cute? It's practically all done now, and perhaps we could celebrate. I love her voice us. so much. Oh, do we have an anniversary? Something? Us. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mister Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it! I don't say it like that. <laughs> you do, and that's fine. She is so sweet. Ready to go home soon? What, we just Not got in here? the slightest. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, look at these houses. You're so pretty. If I had found someone I could row with, perhaps I could be living here. Oh, you want to hey, live I here, ma'am? Uh, oh, well, that's On my good. way. Here, I'll move around the way. I might be in love. Me too, Miss Mail. <laughs> Me too. Oh, there's so oh, they're so the cliff, cute. Look. Oh, which one do we have, the red or the blue? A blue one. Why not both? Oh, oh no. pick one. True. One for you, one for me. I like uh, the blue one. Okay. It's got big windows. Blue. My choice exactly. Oh no. Oh, Looks like okay, I knew good. what you were gonna say. Well, either house looks big enough for me. Thank God. <laughs> Maybe more than me one day. Uh, yeah, dog. dog. I love dogs. Why I not? like dogs. A little someone else to play with it, perhaps. A cat. A cat. A cat. A cat. What about your work. You want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Um, yes. no. Yeah, I love my work. Yes. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. Yeah. We'll see why it has to be one or the other. Did you angry, 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 angry. Hell no. I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> Immersed in your work, no doubt. Blinkers on. No, I, I just don't want kids. All these bright young women I'm teaching and I'm scared. I'm... I'm scared yeah. that despite all they've achieved, despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is how fast can you type? Yeah. You're probably right. It's a real waste of talent. It really is a waste, you're right. Even the yeah. jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. It's still like that to this no, day. Right. I think women have every right to state their claim. Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. Yeah. Count on me. Yes, go, Peter. I hope I you agree, do make a stand. I agree. Won't become part of all that. It's not I easy, won't. you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Mm -hmm. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
is not as bad as you think. No, that's no, not what I thought. Sure. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? I this, don't know. this, this work? Exactly, the work we've done. You will tell him, won't you? Of course I will. Yes, of yes. I will. I'll go straight to his office as soon as we're back. You promise me that. Promise you that. I promise you that. Those are so cute. I love them. This is good, isn't it? It is. I love them so much. They're so cute. <sighs> okay, it was so fast in passing, but him saying my memory is playing tricks on me, I feel like that's backing up my theory that some of these memories are going to be skewed. I don't know how or which ones, but I, I don't know. It was so subtle, but I, I feel like it's important that he said that. Because I'm pretty sure that was the sweater she was wearing, but I'm not certain. <laughs> when does the tragedy happen? <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little worried. Peter, marvelous oh. to see you do come in. Take us. Oh, you can see their reflections too. I didn't notice that before. I have to say. Red door. Okay. I'm delighted. Great. I'm glad. You read the final draft. Of course. All the salient points. I must say it's very impressive. Yeah. You think so? Thank you. Not at all. It's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. You took well, it. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things. The method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications and not just in your own field. Oh so, no. What? Like a military a field? Uh, first rate piece of work, Peter. First rate. Mm. Th this other name on here, Dr. Clara McKeary. I presume we can drop that. No. Drop it. Why would I do that? Oh. Well. Um, I understand you probably had some little research assistants, but uh, a lot. We all have secretaries. <laughs> we, we just don't usually put the name on the front cover of the paper. She's not a secretary. Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently, Samuel? I don't remember. I have. Yes. <laughs> Doing so well in their new positions. Oh, sure. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more for you, in fact. Hmm. Oh. What about Thank for Clara? You. It be Why so not promote both of us? All these years, especially after the risk I took. The risk you took. Risk. Okay. A boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university. You know what I'm saying. What's a grammar school? It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. Yeah, this I is all about you. You to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work. That's all. For whatever reasons you might have. It's not misattributing. Throwing it away. What do you mean? I mean. There is a world of possibility out there for you. Hmm. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Yeah. <clears throat> You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I thought you'd be pleased. In fact, I think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. What about I'm Clara? Sure you would be able to cope, but cope. I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman's shoulders. Why the fuck not? I see. And okay to foist upon a man's, of course. Quite. And I've no doubt you. No, that was sarcasm, asshole. With this name <sighs> on here, there is a good chance it will cause problems. I don't like the way he said quite. I'm sure I could handle them. <laughs> this isn't all about you, I'm afraid. There could be problems for everyone. Clara was close with Molly Shannon, wasn't she? The one the... suspected of being a communist yeah, spy. Yeah, but, but was let go because she wasn't one. She wasn't charged. How Thank close you. they were is the real question. <sighs> Clara joined Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. So did I. I'm saying Clara's a spy now. But nobody's saying anything. Nobody's started digging yet. A lot of people, very what? important people, believe you are either with this country or against it. 
some of the benefactors of this college, for example. I hate this guy. My father used to call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the world. I would agree with that. To the world? I don't know about that. That's not. That's not. What I'd I hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Four business has been bad enough. Picks the negative slash shy option. Absolutely. You can't change the past, <laughs> Peter. But we can learn from it. <laughs> can we shoot Before this guy? we fool ourselves into remembering it. <laughs> you at the end of the kind. knife. <laughs> and with this name on here, the associations one might make. You see what I'm saying? Association, just because she's a woman. I met Clara. I'm, I'm sure you'd agree her name should be on the page. She had way more oh, students in her Peter, class. I'm trying to make you understand something. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is precisely the way the rot sets in. It's the, the slow rot. knife. I'd like to slow knife you. Members of this university were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union ten years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons. The only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in 10 years' time? Who gives a shit? What happens Who to gives the integrity a shit? of this college in 10 years? If you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to. And what happens 10 years after that? We get married and have a dog and a cat and we don't we we forget about the university because you're getting so worked up over the fact that a woman's name Cannot is on a paper. So fucking embarrassing for you. By making oneself <laughs> That is why this university is still here, that is why I am still here. Maybe you should leave. Maybe you've been here too long. You ever think about that? Maybe we need some I new people in power here. Me. You ever think about that? How much I care about your success. It's not about his success, it's about your success. It's so common for work to fade into obscurity <sighs> after it's published. It would be a shame if yours were denied my full-throated support, especially after so many years. I so hate this guy. I cannot make your decisions for you. By all means, publish with Clara as a co-author if you're feeling generous. But generous. If you do, you'll have to take your chances. I'll take my chances. It be thanks. For me to bring to bear any influence I have. Then don't. I'd rather not be in cahoots with people that you have influence with. I've been addressing <sighs> White Wind, Kibby. <laughs> Full throated. <laughs> Thank you. Fred, I can't tell you much more now. Name the throw, call. <laughs> Cambridge man. Sorry. <laughs> you may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out. Are you still on about Clara? I'm sure things will become clear soon. I hate you. I think you've made things very clear. Well, let me know what you decide. I've made a decision. Come Just on now. Anytime. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where am I? Did I pass out? Did I make it inside? Yeah, right. We just arrived at the boat. Wait, we took the boat out. Yeah, right, right, right. I forgot. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. See, the thing that worries me is that I'm picking all the options, obviously, to support Clara. But here we are alone. <laughs> Very curious. Smoke. Someone's there. Oh. I didn't even notice the smoke. I thought that was from the plane. Oh my god. Up we go. Come on. Toss it into the fire, Mr. Peter. Oh, here's the Norwegian flag. We got a little flag here, eh? Oh no! The boat! No, you can't be leaving! Hey! Hey! Over here! Come back! Hey! I don't think they can hear you from there. What are you doing? Oh, you dumbass. Oh wow, who's surprised? 
For what purpose? <laughs> Get up, you fool. C come on now. Come on now. Get the fuck up. Get up. Good lord. This guy's a fool. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Peter. Get yourself together, man. achievement wake up wake up i see two uh gravestones back there who died eh are you good you just okay your shoulder just pop it back in there keep going come on now oh is this a transition the red door all right here we come We've made a decision. We're keeping Clara's name on the paper. Come on. Didn't even have to think about it. Oh, I love the color palette. You've come at the right time. Even for the 37 for 4. Terrible said to the first. 37 for 4. See me about something All right. Come on, Peter. Something you wanted to let me know. Yes, sir. Clara. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. What is this? Oh, telegram. To send via Morse. Morse? Like Morse code? Secret from J. Schwartz, U.S. Antarctic Survey. Stationed at Norway Station A, SOS, landslide collapsed main hut, used medical training to help Norwegians. One man still injured, two dead, suspected Soviet activities, old ship behind the mountain of no use, abandoned. Please send ship, please help. Then maybe that was the gravestones that we saw then. We certainly can't use this boat. There's holes in it. I'm not really sure what we're looking for. Oh, maybe another radio. Dr. Hammond. Good Lord. How do you do? So good to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? Excuse me, I won't be a moment. Okay. Sure. Still three o'clock, yes? Sure. Oh no, no need to reschedule. This won't take long. It should be very Schedule. Quick. Right then, please do take a seat. Okay. Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little London. too, considering how busy you've been recently. Busy be sure. Thank you. I'll uh, I'll try to. Good, do. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. Yeah. Well, it can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. Yeah. Oh. Since the war? I didn't know that. They're going to use his, his research for military well. purpose. Because of the radiation well, it stuff. It is now, thank you. Oh yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed mm, us Interesting. And it's impressive, the amount of information you've managed to gather. Although I imagine the process of gathering it was rather difficult. Yeah, I had help. Limited budget. I had Clara. Ah, uh, yeah, I had some help. Oh yes, we uh, we heard about that. As I said, but we you were say most it like that. and wanted to make you an offer, a reward even. Why just me? What, what kind of offer? Well, where's Clara? You've no doubt taken your budget to its limits by now. What would you say if I could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study? Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The, mm. the heart of things. I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? This is what I was saying at the beginning. Well, well it was um, me and, and someone else. Me and Clara. Actually, well, whatever the details, I'd say that warrants further study on location, wouldn't you? Sure. It does. Yeah. It certainly does. <laughs> we could place you with the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctica. Scientist bods. Happy okay. amateurs. Very passionate like yourself. Of sure. course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw on the paper before you Why? Go. Just bring her with you. I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. 
Just uh, bring her name? with you. Um, Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely name. Probably for the best. She wouldn't be able to go. Why? Oh, not my say so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. Why? I, uh, I don't think she'd like the idea. There are plenty of women in the army. Bigger than any one person. Bigger than two people, you mean? I Thank see. You. Well, you signed those papers on your way in earlier, so I'm at liberty to tell you a little more. Things in the Antarctic, they've been a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the ground. Mm. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades, of course. W what kind of thing? Oh, the Germans were flying over there, dropping swastikas in big circles. Before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous. Really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Still, we're trying to work with them. Mm. Why would you do that? Isn't it dangerous? The idea is to avert danger, I believe. It mm -hmm. should all be in everyone's interest, you see. Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty. Oh, all yeah. a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago. Set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Mm -hmm. Now, if it sticks, Everyone will be frightfully happy. Every side yeah, but they were saying that, that they state their claim. Earlier. No aggression, let's say. Some people didn't want to. You. No World War Three, you mean? Quite. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. What is placate? This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're rather worried that it might all fall through. Then why would I go? How worried are you? <laughs> worried enough. But there's no immediate cause for alarm. Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation, mm. what the readings are. If there are any bombs being set off on the continent, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets might do next. You'd to make us angry, uh, as I said. Thank you. Useful for your career. Okay. Useful for us. If it's so dangerous, why would I go there? This is still climate science. No, it's it ain't anymore, absolutely Peter. Right. The less we're involved, the better, really. Mm -mm -mm. But as I say, mm -mm. if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. So that's probably why that base was attacked. How can you help, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah. Well, after speaking with a few people, Professor Hargreaves, for example, I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions, after working on something as important as this, you'd have no trouble progressing. And if nothing else, think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. Yeah, I love taking what adventures where there's nuclear war going you, you on. want me to decide now? Oh, not straight away, but... Or risk of it. Time is rather tight. We'd need an answer soon. Sorry, I've got a meeting in Westminster in 20 minutes. We'll have to cut this short. It's been mm. very good to meet you. Do let me know. So we obviously know that he went, though. And if this Clara thing feels like a sticking point, all I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity for you and to do what's right? No! What's right? I'm sure you understand. Women come and go. Oh. This is for your country. Jesus Christ. Maybe women come and go for you. Uh, I think most of them would probably go the way you talk. Good lord. Transcript of received message from US military attached Antarctic comms. Norwegians are aware of emergency. Norwegian Navy is sending sister ship for rescue. Please watch for scout plane. Oh, is that the one that we saw? Landing craft will receive all at 1800 hours. Prepare stretcher for injured man uh, and transport to landing area. Mm. 
me see. Maybe now we can walk over to this side where the graves were. I was kind of thinking at first that maybe these two graves was actually Peter and his buddy. Like maybe oh, this is all some weird timey-wimey stuff because we've been hallucinating and all this kind of stuff and it was kind of an interesting, I mean a little bit fucked up obviously, but an interesting way to find out that they did die or something. Maybe in the crash, maybe from the cold or something like that. There is a car here though. I don't know if there'll be any gas, but... All right, come on now. The keys are in here too. That's convenient. God, he must be so exhausted by this point. That was so far for him to walk. I mean, not just right here, but just all the way from the start. Got anything on the radio? the glove compartment, sorry. Oh. All right. Come on, let's let's get driving. We we got to get out of here. Hopefully, we've got fuel. Come on now. Why is it so slow? Oh, he's shaking. Oh, he's nodding off. Okay, wait. Turn. Yeah, it won't let me progress any further. Turn the engine off if you're gonna knock out. Come on now. Don't be. Don't waste all the fuel. God. I wonder if he's gonna take a nap, or if he's just given up entirely. Oh. Hey. Flare? So maybe he did have flares. I was really convinced he didn't have any flares. I thought he was lying to us. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Turn back the engine on. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Wow, it was so fast. Okay. Come on. Let's get going. Cool, we've got the achievement survivor and we've got a full tank of gas. Let's fucking go, man. Where am I driving? I don't know. <laughs> this is depressing, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yeah, this entire thing is just <laughs> rough. I still don't know though, like even if we make it there, will this be enough fuel to get us anywhere? Because we're still out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I guess we could technically pick up our friend and drive back to one of the bases. So I was thinking during that interview or meeting, I guess, and maybe that all explains why... Yeah, there's another flare. Maybe that explains why that research facility ended up getting, um attacked why is it the end there's no way that's not the end of the game is it cowboys no we're hallucinating we're hallucinating it's gotta be right that makes no sense we're hallucinating please we're hallucinating okay thank god earth was that all about um what? well cowboys of course i mean i might have enjoyed it if i was a 10 year old oh, boy god. but it was just boys and their toys again oh my god is that a bad thing they're presenting themselves as if they're heroes instead of the land grabbers they actually were <laughs> okay i i see what you mean i know yeah. what you're about to see, that they were just men testing themselves against the world uh, i do hear where you're coming from let's be supportive fine i'll stop it now oh wow well, 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 where were all the women I can't have won. She was a cook. God. She was a very pretty cook. No, that's Are not what I... you serious? I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm watching not you, Not what Hamilton. I thought the choice was good. I thought it was going to be... I'm only teasing. Oh. I, I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. <laughs> Let's turn the radio on, would you? <clears throat> do be like that. <sighs> yeah... I'm not getting much. Oh, right there. Interesting. <laughs> she faded. <laughs> the Prime Minister has urged for calm after news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. 
Under Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. After pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. Hmm. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. It's so dark. What? Why am I being shot at? Oh my god, you dumbass. Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! Oh god. Oh, he's hit the engine. <laughs> Come on. You're dead. Hit the engine! All of it was for nothing. What, you, what have you done? It's you, mate. Of course it's me. Who else mind? would be out here? Sorry, mate. I thought you were a bloody Russian. I got a Norwegian flag on my down. car. I gotta catch us a gal for our tea. Is he drunk? You hit what the vehicle. Tea? The engine's dead. You satisfied with yourself? Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers and drop a whiskey oh. sort of me right out. Oh, and whiskey. I thought I'd go for a walk. A walk? You found whiskey. I had that all along. Save it for special occasions. <laughs> Birthdays, Christmas. <laughs> Crashing in the middle of bloody nowhere. Is the radio on? Calling oh, co-pilot, yeah, hello, co-pilot. Get her out here. Oh, those are the beeves. Believe me, it's not better out here. Why don't you leave me in peace? What? I. Well, let's let's get you inside. I traveled so idea. far for you, sir. Huh? Honestly, okay. It sounds weird, but. <laughs> Other than having a gun at the same time, drinking whiskey might not be the worst option because it will probably help keep you a little bit warm. Dehydrate you a bit, but you know, in the cold like this, maybe. So, <laughs> definitely shouldn't have a gun though. Wait, did I get shot too? Or is that because I How fell earlier? Ah, uh, bit shitty. Yeah, a bit. I bet. Uh, uh, just, uh, just needed that, that sleep, mm -hmm. mate. Ah, uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. You know there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while? Oh? Really? Yeah, sounded urgent, whatever it was. Uh, same phrase over and over. Oh, Jesus, mm. it's Maybe it was an evacuation then. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Maybe the base uh, didn't no, get no, attacked no. at all. Because all of the bases were abandoned. Why, why not? We need help. They don't want us here, you know? Why the hell should they save mm. us, eh? I mean... We're all stuck out here. Yeah. We're in the same boat, aren't we? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. Mm. If you think some Soviet's gonna be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thing coming. And personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make it's sure he didn't make it home either. Really? The same to me. Alpha Romeo Lima, this is Faraday. Faraday oh. Station calling. Faraday. Oh, hello? Mm. Uh, we glad hello? to hear you. Hello? Uh, we picked up a distress call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. Yeah. Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're very faint. Uh, can you tell me your position? Over. <laughs> what, what's our position? Uh, 82 oh. degrees south, 19 west. We're Sorry. 82 degrees south, 19 west. Mm, hello? Hello? <gasps> hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? <sighs> Over. Hold on. I wonder if there was a radiation leak and everyone was evacuating. That would explain the whole... Have been broadcasting a warning signal with yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I can't tell you anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Um, can we confirm? Oh, they're not going to come for us. That's correct. That's right. The sigh. Oh, he's lying. Wait, wait, 
Don't go. Yeah, because it wasn't just our research base that was abandoned. All of them were. The Soviets one was, and the Norwegian one as well. So, yeah, because I was thinking that sound, like the oh, beeping. Oh, that again is too bloody sinister. Turn it it off. sounds like some sort of like alarm. And he said it was sound panic. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh. They're gonna die out here. Well, ain't that a beauty? Oh, I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, I'll yeah you shouldn't believe it. Oh, have a little faith, please. They'll come. Oh, I hope Damn, so, they mate. won't. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. Knighthoods? What do you mean? Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, oh. the whole endeavor would just look nuts. Shackled. Mm. Remember him? Marooned most of his men on an island for a year. A year? They were pioneers, surely. Robert Scott, who got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic mm. failures. They kind of do that with, Just um, like, us. like space, space hey, travels too, right? How does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? Uh, um, anyway, that's if we great. make it out. Great, bud. Well, no, that's if you don't make it out, really. The food runs out. Yeah, how much food do well, we got? I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? <sighs> Your flare. Oh, it wasn't his flare. Uh, come on, seriously. I knew he didn't have any oh, flares. No, was lucky, spotting the flares that you sent up. Was then that? whose flare was it? I never sent up any flares, mate. <sighs> Sorry? No, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody. I knew it. Me for a while. I knew it. Are you saying there's someone else here? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay, well, if there's somebody else here and they're sending out flares, then they're obviously looking for help it's as well. Lazy. So maybe we can help each other. Oh, there's another Wait. line. There it is. That's not far away. Yeah, so we can probably help them. Maybe they can so help us. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are no. Chances are yes, if they're Take sending out food, a flare. So. Huh? What are you doing? This is from World War One. Would you believe? Yeah, I would what believe. What are you saying with that thing? Here. One bullet left. No, I don't. I don't want it. We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. Yes. Yeah, I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, mm. make sure you're the one that fires first. I see. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> yeah, so don't miss. You better hope there aren't two of them. Hmm. I mean, maybe they're friendly. I feel like... Clara? It's gotta be Clara. There's no way. I don't think. You gonna be alright? You, you mate, think I'll Clara? And... I've got this. He would know, though, if she came. Shooting that practice earlier? Oh. Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously. Oh. I don't... There's no way. Oh, I don't know. My guess is that it's a Soviet. I'm not gonna shoot, I just wanna... Just take a little peek. You know? Where am I? I can't... Oh my god, it's so hard to aim, actually. Good look. Come on, Peter. Get it together. It's making me use, like, waz to aim. What are you doing? I don't know. I cannot see a damn... <laughs> I feel like this would be easier on control. Oh, good lord. Oh my god, the sensitivity is so high. Probably another flare. Gun. A flare gun? I can't see anything. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where... oh. oh, of course it's a flare gun. see anything. All right, I'm, I'm gonna walk up. If he's sending out flares, then he's got to know there could be other people out here too, other than whoever is on his team. So I feel like they're friendly. I don't know. <laughs> if he, if he came out here reluctantly, gave him support, maybe she came after him. I don't think it's gonna be that easy for her to just fly here though. Like it seems like our plane came down like we this was our plane that we probably got funding for why is the music so damn loud 
Good lord. Hello? It definitely wasn't Clara. Hello? Yes, Don't shoot, friend. Friend. Hmm. Okay. Who are you? I won't. A friend. He just said. Russian. The engineer. Friend. What are you okay. doing here? I am getting very cold. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. You are right. Oh shit. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe the decisions you make decide who you meet here. Maybe. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Hmm. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. 37 for four. Was that the same as before? I don't remember. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? I, I you know, I have, but I don't think it's going to matter because we were out there. We, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. Mm. As I always said, your decision. You will be fine. Oh, but our buddy's got a knife. A knife! Okay. Good. You have a friend. What the hell? Hey. Don't stab what, what him. What are you doing? Get, get the hell out! He's no. Not, he's not in good condition. Jesus. Peter. What have you done to him? Maybe I saved his life. Yeah. Oh, no. Now, what till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? <laughs> Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter, Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring Dude. this damn Soviet agent in here? Just answer I him. Didn't. We need to leave. Oh, that's not what I thought I was going to say. Bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. Coming? No, no. They're coming, all right. Just not for you. No, no, oh nobody's coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Right. Who the oh hell are God! You? What are you doing? I'm telling you to piss off, you and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do but not it's know just anything. Him. We will die here. We need to. <laughs> my knife now. We do not have time for this. Can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. They're what not is it? Uh, is it the engine? You don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. Oh. How the hell oh, because he's an engineer. This place. You must already have transport. He's, he's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. Mm. No fuel. Well, what happened out there? I, uh, I didn't need to shoot yeah. anybody. The man is right. And so not hard to interpret, yeah. Think. Was this about a clear. vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. <laughs> Will it move? Yeah. He's also dead. This man put a bullet through the engine. He's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. Yeah? Here. Give it. So. We need to fly... Or we die here. Die here? Mm -hmm. What's going on out there? Your friends. Are they running from something? They are an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No. Oh. No, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown? Beep, beep like Sputnik? <laughs> that's, that's a countdown. Yeah, it's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You, you have heard it getting faster, yes? Mm -hmm. hey, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. Mm -hmm. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Not a damn thing. Is there a way I can prompt them to say anything? this? No, there's Hold not on. a damn thing. What's going on? There's nothing. nothing <laughs> I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, 
It's more complicated. Frozen Spit it out. That's smug it. You have mm. lighter? Something to heat it? Wait. Uh, yeah. Nice. Then I can fix. Oh, really? Let's go. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then yeah. we're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. Jesus. What is happening? Saved by a Soviet. Oh, relax. No, it's all right. We're going to be all right. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. Yeah, literally. <laughs> we didn't lucky even get his name, him. did we? Yeah, lucky you couldn't shoot straight. He's... Yes! Well, what is it now? What's up? What happened? You we out of fuel? You land the plane well, <laughs> but there's a hole underneath. Ugh. In the fuel tank. Oh, we're out of fuel. What, what does that mean? Can, can you fix it? Yeah, I did. I, I, I can close it up, but that is not the problem. There's no fuel. Yeah, because it would have all Can you check again? All. There's nothing. Oh, Christ. Is there anyone else we can radio? There would be no point. They are all gone. We're screwed then. Hmm. Yeah, what about the unless, fuel in my uh, car? Yeah, it was almost a full tank. Camp. Maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Mm -hmm. Could we siphon it? As you say, screw. Hmm. Hmm, very curious. Cause our our car had fuel in it. I don't well, I guess unless we use the entire tank trying to get back here. But I didn't think so. Yeah. What have you got? Oh cigarette? Might as well make use of that lighter. Mm -hmm. Not your usual brand, I would guess. No. Does it matter? Thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed. Might as well be mates. Mm -hmm. ah. Different fuel. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't really know that much about planes or anything, so. Take it, you don't have any out Makes there sense. anymore. <laughs> I don't have any what? Comrades. Oh. No. Yeah, didn't you say already? Why were you alone? Everyone left. I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. Mm. They did not see me stop. Uh, maybe they reached the coast before they even realized. Yeah. They just left you there. I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and I... Uh, they had their orders. Mm. They wanted to survive. Yeah. They would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> I <laughs> came back. It. Well, you have not buddy. been so lucky too. Storm got us both, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am engineer. And the translator too sometimes. I, hmm. I could help translate British and American radio traffic. Gotcha. That makes me think. What were you doing here? Uh studying the clouds. Right. <laughs> In this new spirit of international cooperation, you, you might as well know. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there. That right, Peter? Yeah, that's Climate right. Climate science. The, the clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone, too. Oh. You were doing climate science here as well? No, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. You were studying something else? So were, were they. you. Oh. <laughs> I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, I haven't done anything yet. I was meant to be studying climate science. Climate science, yes. Ah, that's all. Maybe it is you who are a spice. <laughs> yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? 
You made it that far? I did. So yeah, it was very far. Saw the base where we lived. Hmm. It must have been awful there. Oh, we packed everything up in the big trucks before they left. <laughs> you, you don't think we really live like that? You, you must have thought we were animals. <laughs> no. No, I didn't think you were. Well, who says you're not? Oh, he's been funny. He's getting drunk. <laughs> well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. Fair enough. So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things too. Other mines? Not that, no. What? Then what? Your bomb tests. Ours. Our bomb tests. Yours. No, the British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents them. It should mm. prevent the Americans too. But this does not stop them. Well, it's interesting what they have told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? No. I mean, n <laughs> not yes. in those exact words. Did they tell you you would really be studying your own? Interesting. Are you suggesting they lied to me? One thousand percent. But our government, they lied to us. They asked to. Well, my government wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they would. Whatever you think, we know British bombs have been getting too close. Mm -hmm. Shock waves from one caused the landslide, killed two men. Ah, the yeah, we Norwegian saw that. Norwegian base. Yeah, I believe so. We don't test here. Seems you do. And. The, each time your bombs uh, go, they, they, they make more places unusable, like the mine. Are you mm. saying that's a, a British bomb that's going to go off? No. This bomb is Russian, and it will be dropped right over the mine. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. you destroy your own mine? Yes, the mine is old. They can leave it. But they, they want to destroy it, to uh, keep it a secret. That's insane. Maybe they... They think it is better this way. What were they mining? Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to. Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Uranium? Yeah, I suppose so. What is uranium used for? Surely there'd be some kind of retaliation. Uh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a test. Ah, it sounds bloody risky. Mm. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. What, and risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too? They are just as guilty. Ah, oh, it's all just flag-waving. Bullshit, I don't care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still what? caught up with me. You, you're the I one who had... not care about taking sides. Fucking pretenses with this guy coming in here. I'm tired of their secrets. I just want you to get home. Mm. We all wanted to go home. Oh, we are all the same. Yeah. Oh, I know. Is there's a plane with a bomb on it? And that is what the countdown means. And that's it. We're going to die here. Yes. <sighs> Can't believe there's no fuel. What about those barrels that we saw? In no escape. Tell them about the barrels! I don't know, like, how you would know what- There was a few different types of barrels. There's like blue ones, there's red ones with white stripes, and then there was, like, jugs, but I assumed that that was maybe, I don't know, like, some it's other type of gas worse. or alcohol. Hmm. He's keeping a stiff upper lip about it. I do not understand it. I uh, don't worry, a British thing. Mm. It's like keeping an up, uh, stiff upper lip is like. No, I, uh, I forget the exact. Uh, my final cigarette would be British. Yeah. Mm. Might as well go the whole hog. Not like I'm keeping it for later. You know, y'all could cuddle and keep him warm, right? Maybe not in your condition. Yeah, fair enough. 
I don't maybe the barrels were empty. Be. Oh, maybe. Oh, your names for atom bombs? When it comes, uh, what do we oh, say? Oh, your names for nuclear bombs. Flash of light. Mm. It'll be quick, right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending how close you are to the blast. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I wonder where it came from. What's the bottle reading? Bottom of the barrel, maybe. <sighs> oh. Ah, oh, he's coming round. Come Thought way. you were completely out of he it. Said, you said you wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Oh, maybe the barrels are frozen. Uh, so you maybe. did hear us, yes. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I certainly saw I've some barrels. barrels. I've seen... What's that? Barrels? What kind? What, what, what color do you paint your aircraft fuel barrels? Uh, uh, red, red, red with a, a white stripe. We saw yeah, those. I, I've seen them, lots of them. Oh Where? my god, I could have. Yeah, the British could've... base, that way. What are you doing? Oh. Beauty, why, why didn't you say? I, yeah, that's I, what I, I want to know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? I, I, it's not that far, it's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone mm. needs to go. Two right. Yeah, they, there's only one who can go. What? You. No, no, he's in no fit state. No, yeah. He's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We mm. need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Come. Do we have the time now? Do we have the choice now? Yeah, what else are you going to do, eh? <laughs> Come. Oh, interesting. Man, we could have taken the barrel with us in the car the whole time. Oh, this guy's just still <laughs> drinking. Uh, you, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. Maybe you should you sober up. We, so we can fly out of together here. After. I'm barricading for you guys. <laughs> okay. One. 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 <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Paul. <gasps> Come on! Ah. Ah. Hey. Come on! That's the bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! Well, give me that. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought we he was gonna to give him a high five. Hey, that's for my leg, mate. I need that! You need to show me engine. And you, we need fuel now. You know which way to go. Mm-mm. Oh, yes. The red light. Towards that red light. Which conveniently so started blinking come again. It, it can come in... Very fast. You need to be quick. Okay. You can do this. We need you to do this. This guy's so sweet. I can do it. We will die if you can't. I, I need to fix engine. If I finish, I come. But you, you are on your own now. Please. All right. I've Go. been on my own this whole Go. time, so it's fine. Come on. Up. All righty. Hopefully we can carry a barrel. I mean, we can barely walk, let alone try and carry a thing. Although I suppose we could just try and roll it all the way. I wonder if that would turn the barrel into like a big snowball though. <laughs> like rolling it through the snow. <laughs> oh, interesting. What a wild ride this is. Yeah, this is like a lot more all over the place than I expected. But like, I say that in a good way. Like. There's so much more going on in the story that I expected there would be. Clara! Yeah! My stairs, honey! She's so cute! Oh, I... I want to know what happened with Clara! Because everything seems so good, but like, we came out here, so she's... There's no way she's gonna be okay with that. Like, she's gotta be pissed! I don't know. I I wonder as well. Oh, you can see even on our decisions, it's not like a, a flat background anymore. It's like static. Okay, okay. F focus. Focus on the light. We gotta go. Like I wonder if this was even a real memory. I promised. Oh. Oh, unless this is. 
when she he told you her lied. that we're leaving for Antarctica. Oh shit. Oh, oh hi Clara. Oh she's pissed. Get away from me. Clara, oh wait. Clara. Not now. Clara, come back. Mm. It could have been so good, Peter. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, oh. We, we are good, aren't we? <laughs> oh. Well, you might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised... Promise Poor you that. Decisions. Promise, promise you, you that. that. What? Ow! Oh. Clara, wait, wait, you remember don't your you promises, worry about me, Peter. Peter? I'll be fine. <laughs> Going to see your professor, were you? <laughs> More fool me. I, I, I did. did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys' club over me. Huh? We didn't. We didn't go. You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, we I, I did. Told him. Work gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. What? Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. I should have known from the start, ever since you introduced yourself so formally, just Dr. Hamilton, work first with you, always. I didn't even introduce myself that no. way. No, I, d I didn't do that. I would have I said Peter. I did just say no. Peter. Yeah! Well, and I suppose you didn't run away from my lecture that time. Didn't let me go on that march all by no, myself. No, I Don't like didn't. two sugars I... in your bloody tea. What? I only want sugar, ma'am. Hello, Clara? When we were talking about living in that red house by the sea. Blue house! What was so frightening about that? Why did <sighs> you panic? I wasn't panic. I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. What's happening? I don't remember one. I remember. Wait, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the blue house, not the red one. <laughs> Your memory, Peter. I can't even thinking straight. I never think yes. straight. <sighs> oh. I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, are, yes, absolutely. Are you even here now? Please no, you there. ain't. Were you ever here? No, we were I'm here now! I'm here. <gasps> Won't be fooled by this any longer. Strain in his voice is so good. Can't you believe yourself? No. Because it was hallucinations. I, I, I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving oh. that. I can bloody well promise you that. No. Oh, do choices even matter? No. I don't think they do. I think that's the point, maybe. Because all of our decisions, she's saying the opposite thing of them. Oh. I have theories, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep it for the end. I have some ideas, though. That's very interesting. Yeah, this is his uh, his professor's office door. I remember the red door. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. 37 to four. We've hey, seen anyway, this. You said you wanted to see me about something, please. <sighs> something you wanted to let me know. I'm gonna pick Clara here. Clara did half the work. She's owed the credit for it. But I have theories. Because I don't think it matters. Come, come, my friends. Up, oh, up. Bunny. It is not far. You, you nearly made it. Mm. You nearly made it. Oh, we almost so made close. it, yeah. Come on. We can do this together. Yeah. Teamwork. It is better with us both. Take that side. And push. push. Yeah. Come on. 
Come on, let's go, let's Stay go. Straight. Stay straight. Never. Straight. <laughs> and true. Oh, he's losing it. Straight and true. <laughs> come. Together, come. There is no time. Please. Cast mm, out. You must get up. <sighs> Better be one hell of a not trying to tying this together while we piss. I have a theory. Yeah, because the curious thing is that we've had so many choices and decisions. could be ours though this beautiful thing if you wanted it to be oh clara come here oh clara i think we just died there's no way you would live through that like that's still way too close Fucking dead, I think. Damn. Oh, I knew it wouldn't last. What? The rain. Want to go back? Let's go. Okay, follow me. Could have been a beautiful thing, Peter. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Mm. Wait. Exciting, isn't it? Yes. Well done. I need the new idea. No, they're fucking dead. Oh shit. My guess is that the visions were more so him flashing back on his life and kind of maybe trying to choose the things that he should have chosen. Like maybe he did choose to go to the bar, maybe he didn't include her name on the paper and stuff like that, but that he's kind of flashing back and trying to pick the things that he should have picked. Something like that. But that's why that's my kind of guess. All right, guys, so that was it for South of the Circle. I hope that you guys enjoyed. That ending was a little bit odd, but I kind of have a little bit of a theory as to why it was the way it was, but it's honestly not a fully formed thought. It's kind of just like my thinking slash hoping that maybe it's correct. Now, my kind of thinking is essentially that maybe his sort of memories and stuff like that were coming back in flashback waves because he thought that he was going to die. Because pretty much the entire time, Peter is out in the cold, he's exhausted, he's probably extremely stressed out and that can do a lot to your brain and so I kind of feel like maybe that's the explanation to where yeah maybe some of it was correct memories maybe some of it was kind of correct but with skewed sort of options and it's a bit weird because I feel a little bit conflicted about this because on one hand I think that's really interesting and very cool a unique way to kind of go about it but on the other hand as a player you end up kind of feeling like they just spit in your face being like yeah your choices didn't matter none of it mattered it was all for nothing sort of feeling but again on the other hand of that is that maybe that is the point is that those choices that you made weren't actually choices but rather the way that Peter was recollecting those memories. Now while I could be satisfied with that I feel unsatisfied at the end because there was no sort of resolution. It's really too bad because I feel like you could even just add like one extra cutscene depending on if you chose to go with Clara or not like maybe you have one little scene actually somebody recommended this to me it's not my idea but if you just woke up in the hospital and Clara was by your side you don't even have to 
have words just to show that she was there because you did choose her. Or if you didn't choose her, maybe you wake up in the hospital and your teacher buddies are there. Or maybe even the pilot is there. Or maybe even you wake up and you're alone. Like anything to kind of just give us a little bit of something. Or even if you want to have them still be dead, like just have some sort of cutscene to kind of wrap it all up. Because I guess the way that it is right now, it really just, it, the outstanding message is like why and what was the point of it all. You can still have the ending be open-ended and vague while also offering even just an ounce of explanation. So yeah, I don't know. It's honestly just a very conflicted kind of opinion at the end of all of it because part of me is like, yeah, I think I get it. I feel like I had that kind of eureka moment, but it also just didn't quite go all the way. And so I feel like it's more so the player aspect of it that I'm like, did I get it though? Because if I did get it, then maybe it would feel more resolved and maybe I would feel a little bit more complete at the end. I I'm not really sure. But yes, despite the kind of conflicted feelings on the actual ending itself, I did really love that game experience as an overall just kind of whole because first of all, I loved the pacing of it. Everything just felt really good and the voice acting was amazing. The art style was really lovely and so was the soundtrack too. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed it as a whole. So I hope that you guys did as well. But that is going to be it for me tonight. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you're liking it. It helps me a lot. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.